kids on a scooter. Yeah. Be, and they be, say, yeah, yes, be nervous. sir. Yeah. They, they just spotted a Vic. Scooter activity. Yeah, they're it's they're very polite down here. They'll the rob you very polite down here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If also you see seven white kids on the scooter, I would be nervous as well. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah also, fast. Yeah. White kids are dangerous. <laughs> and their yeah. parents. We own again. I hope you listening closely. You listening closely. We doing our own thing. Our own but thing. we doing this for the coach. Check out the top. Check out the top. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up. Next. You can be a next. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. More than culture. Are the kids really robbing though? I would not know he was laughing, but <laughs> <laughs> they're not robbing like Kevin that. wants to fix Atlanta. He's like, he wanna come back and do his speech. I was like, bro, there's a lot kids. of kids on scooters around here. Yeah. I no. mean the, the ones I say are doing the robbing, yeah, I would classify them as kids. But yeah. don't aren't you like swiping your stuff to get access to the scooter? Well, you hey, know, hey, they, that's called a, scamming. You know, but you, yeah, you, you assume they, 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 they ain't scammers too. I think a fourteen-year-old has stuff. Same way. <laughs> to, <laughs> to scam. Yo, listen, they got they got a show on Netflix that shows people how to scam. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. yeah. They, they got HBO a black Max kid too. that uh, got ten a uh, ten million dollar. I bullshit you uh, not. Yeah. Record deal. That's on HBO Max. On my IG, my bad. In my stories of a nigga teaching people how to run scams. Right. Wow. That's what the uh, it's called American Hustle, uh, Generation mm -hmm. Hustle. Oh, no, it's on HBO. Just, it's called Generation Hustle. That, my bad. What y'all talking about is, but what I'm talking about <laughs> is just a nigga YouTube. <laughs> on, just a nigga. on Instagram just a nigga. who <laughs> bought an ad <laughs> and he's teaching you, niggas how to run scams. Hey, Teach wow. a scam. And Instagram let them run the ad, but they block Instagram our ad the for putting. It's the fans Instagram doing it. What are you th scam. I think that's the fans. <laughs> what's the What's the most dangerous area in Atlanta? Uh, all of them where they got white people in the front. Mm. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, because so it used to be a, bad. It's gonna be called uh, East Atlanta. It'll be like the up and coming Kirkwood area, Kirkwood. but that shit in Little Mexico. Because mm -hmm. everybody yeah. grown. All that shit future talking about is over right. there, but they got like three million dollar houses on this. It's side. A whole bunch of trap nigga spirits the running back. around. Shorty, 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 shorty. There's a whole lot of fucking cars. niggas around. Right. Y'all think I'm Martin Luther King? <laughs> that's one of that's one of the, that's one of the street one niggas. Of the street niggas they only hunt when white people move in. They be like, y'all lame me for. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, this would be a good podcast, man. More than culture is the brand. It's the More Than Culture Show. Come on, the Secret Dreams. Three more rocks. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan, we're here. Yes, well, indeed. You know uh, how it is. Y'all was aligned on the. Uh, yeah. intro, yeah. Man. I said, hey man, y'all know what it's doing. And this would be a great show. Five, four, six. Five, four, six. Exactly. Five, four, six. Come on, jump in. When Tyler smacks the table you you do it so <laughs> it's a real time coach time, we have a dyslexic battle oh, at the end of this table that nobody saw oh about. man that nigga said how to five four six <laughs> yo five four six three two go <laughs> Why you have to bring it all the way back, though? Because of the shit before we was on the show. He just lets with the numbers, too. Yo, you should bro. just be word. Hey, bro. It's all good, brother. He I'm next to Remo. He's coming oh, out. Man. He's pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Remo making his. Both of them making his corner down, down there. He's hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would. That's what they say. I thought he was giving out his number. I ain't know what that was. Five, four, six. We're going to reach Remo's drunk, man. Don't listen to him. Whenever people who don't smoke hear something they don't want to hear from somebody who smokes, they be like, he high. We're not high. We're aware. <laughs> but I'm also high. Right. I'm high but too, I'm yeah, as well. High. I'm highly aware. Um, it's on Functional you. Normal. Got to be. Uh, must be I've been knowing these guys. Right. I, who's been knowing who y'all the longest? Me, right? I feel like I met to here maybe before you did, but probably you probably did. met them before I did. I so. met everybody like recently, but we've been cool right. online. All right, cool. Yeah, cool online counts. Cool, cool online, online really counts because cool y'all talk counts. back to me, and I didn't know y'all was big, and niggas was like, Kevin on stage talks to you on your page. <laughs> Ronnie <laughs> Jordan was big before That's I was what big. Ronnie That's what Ronnie, 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 Ronnie don't understand. Ronnie don't understand. Ronnie. Do you not know that fat nigga? Right, thank you. We be trying to convince this nigga how famous he is. Let me tell, let me tell him. Talk tell I was watching you with my bank shirt tucked in. <laughs> the khakis on and hard bottoms hating my job. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> watching Bad Boys and Comedy like this nigga. Kill him. He talking about we y'all been. You probably made. Was he just on there now, Ronnie? Not enough. He wasn't just okay, on did there. Did he say Rodney? He did yeah, say Rodney. Right. Right. Okay. That's why he's, he's okay. so okay. down on himself. Yeah, I'm not going to be the only one. <laughs> hey, six, five, four, four, six. What was it? No, cut it First of all, to hear. Oh. let me just tell the people watching, I've been up since four right. today. I went and saw my mom in Fayetteville, yeah, flew down, to never got to get to the nap. 
Mm. But I'm here because it's more than coffee. Man, same here as so well. So I get up and my list come out more when I'm tired. My list like, man, what's up, Rodney Jordan? Rodney <laughs> Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. But no, no, you ain't, you're trying to switch the subject. So what <laughs> I was going to say is you didn't just have an OK set on there. Mm -mm. You Boy. killed. That's, what, that's 20 years almost. Memorable. Yeah, memorable. So stop it. Rodney. <laughs> King. Rodney, so Rodney been doing it. Uptown this bullshit. weekend, a nigga made him do that joke. Really? Yesterday, two days ago, yeah, screamed it out in the crowd. It was Joe Claire. That's how memorable it was. Do the fact they got the dope. We should have pulled up, Josh. I told I, I hit y'all in the group chat and said, Joe yeah. Claire, we kill it. Which group no, chat? You just was putting videos of Bruce Bruce in there. With, with, <laughs> no with no context. With no context. Just, with no context. Nigga just threw Bruce Bruce in there. It's like, Bruce Bruce. Was like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I this know y'all yeah. gonna be is what you're saying. <laughs> we were the ostrich on family know, guys. Ah. <laughs> y'all got the Bruce caption. Y'all got the Bruce video after we got it, but I had sent y'all the um, invite to Uptown when I was in the club. I was like, well, they in town. They probably in the hotel kicking Man. it. Oh, oh, you said it like it was happening at the moment. It was. Who got the? Who got that? I text. I text. I got to hear in. Uh, I got to hear Kev in a, in, a, in a group chat. I don't have Tony in the group chat. Tony, I got to get your me number. Me and Josh was looking oh, for Tony. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. I wasn't here either. You and nah, hell no. Nah. He was, was dead here. Saturday. That was on Saturday. I was at the pop-up shop. I mean, not, nah, yeah, I was at the pop-up shop. I told you. It was yesterday. My homies run Atlanta Influences and everything. I was at the pop-up shop. They had a pop-up shop at Atlantic Station. And that's why I was there. Well, when I got here, when I got there, Joe Claire didn't have a feature. He thought they was booking a feature, and they thought he was bringing a feature. They were like, you want a feature? So I did like 25 minutes. I did like 20 minutes on the first shop. Off time. Don't New shit. I did like all Jordan. vaccine jokes. Don't look at me. He could have hit you it's up. He ain't running. Ronnie, 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 I don't have Tony Baker's number. I don't got Tony Baker. I'm gonna get this How about off me. Get it off you. I'm gonna get it off me. I'm gonna look at you the whole podcast. Feel the eyeball heat. You gotta hit Kev too. I hit both of them. I hit Kev and to hear like yo. Well, Kev was in church, man. I'm gonna let him tell y'all what they do in the south. What was this? What was this? Was Saturday or Friday? It was Friday night. It was Friday night. Oh, Kev was still here. Yeah, so yeah. Kev could have hit you up too. Yeah. Kev didn't leave. I'm sure y'all was tired. I probably shot out there. We shot out there. Sunday. What day was it on? What time he hit me? Yeah, Kev, Kev, Kev was, was right there in the goddamn thing. He could he did me. First 48, McGee. He might open me. But it, but anyway, I did the I did the guest feature spot and then because we pulled up and then they gave Kamal the feature spot for the weekend. So give it up for Kamal for feature for Joe. How was it, man? It was great, man. Good time. Great time. Great time. Right, you got high energy on stage? Cause you no, I don't have there. high energy on stage at all. So you be like, all right, y'all, calm down, Atlanta. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> when you be shopping? They make it seem like you can't be low energy in Atlanta clubs. You can't. I mean, you, can. you can. You just got to be really funny. That's it. This is the key to Atlanta That's clubs. It. You got to say hi to them first. A lot of people come on that bitch, start talking. Give me like two hey, how you doing? Mm. That's it? We yeah. Southern. We got to speak to How you doing, man? You good? Yeah, no, yeah right, give sir. me some real. It connect right then. Women be shot. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, you can't. A lot of motherfuckers come out here, you know, I was on set today, and they gave my check, and it was folded. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they be doing that. They gave my account. check, and it was folded. They gave yeah. my check, and it was folded. <laughs> Boo, shout him. <laughs> hey, nigga, my Hell. trout was bumping, though. Shout Hell no. I, had, I saw an L.A. dude come out here at the old Uptown on P Street, and he's, <laughs> this thing was bombing so bad. This had to be like 02. And the nigga said, he said, yo, I did a movie with Will Smith for everything. They were like, boy, that nigga, why, you need to bring that nigga with your ass. Oh, <laughs> they got that nigga out of here, bro. That was, that was one of the first time I had line. I, I was a feature, and they made me, they skipped me. What's that got to do with this moment? Yeah, you, right 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 right. you can't clout nigga. yourself off that Nothing stage. Nothing is going to help you when it's you on stage. Oh, That's yeah. all I care about. The, this the, the height of the BMF era, though, so it's like the whole BMF in there. Michael Vick got a dog in there. It's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit going on. Jeezy, T.I. in there, Dayton Time. I mean, it was a lot of he shit going on. <laughs> Chris Tucker walk in, do a guest 45 minute set out of nowhere. You're like, what the yeah. fuck is happening right now? Like, I'm 20, like, what the fuck? Like, did we do the introduction? We did no? do the introduction. No, did. Did. Nobody knows anybody. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here. I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I like that, though. We're here more than culture because we're cool with these guys. The whole pandemic, I feel like we've been connecting with these brothers Hell just. Yeah. Um, through Zoom with the homies with Tahir, Kev on stage has Kev on studios, and you know Tony Baker is legendary on the social media and comedy. So we have Kev on stage to hear more, and Tony Baker yeah. here. Yeah. 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 We got our LA cousins pulling up to the country. Yeah. Our LA cousins that aren't from LA. Not to live in Atlanta. Tell them the story. Yeah. Yeah. Tahir was here. You were here for a minute. I said, first, 
first I stayed in Sandy Springs. I stayed there for a couple months, and then I came back and I stayed in Buckhead because I was working over on Peter Street. Nice. But none of y'all were born in LA, though, is what I'm getting at. Born in LA? None of y'all born in LA. No, no, no. Where you originally from, Kevin? So, El Paso, Texas. They got black people out there? Hell. Why are they going so hard? Dude, I'm man. talking about a big. He's from East St. Louis. You know, oh, that's you, a, you, know what, you know what the killers say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no killers gonna... like the cartel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Drug dealers is not cutting heads off Ooh. and leaving at your house. Come on, you man. Know, yeah, you right there by Mexico. Mexico. Bro, I was down there with, you know, Lil' Who? I couldn't I was like, Mexican people don't drive like Yeah. I was at church, okay? I'm just saying. Lil' Who? Yeah, he was over there. Yeah, he was over there. But anyway, I was born in El Paso. You tapped First 10. You tapped My mom married my dad in the military, so then I bounced around. North Carolina, Virginia, back to Texas, 13 years in Washington State, mm. and then seven years in, uh, or eight years now in LA. Mm. I just want to ask Word. you, because you, I know y'all, when y'all went on tour and did, y'all went Tony's and did from a, Chicago. I'm sorry. Tony's from Chi, I'm yeah. sorry. He's from East St. Louis. Mm. Yeah. Now I just wanted to for everybody at home, know. I'm like, damn, what about Tony? Yeah, yeah, where are you from, Tony? I'm sorry. I, Chicago. Where? Went to school in New Mexico State, which was by El Paso. That's why I know El Paso is damn. flat. Nigga gave me the back too fast. He gave me the back too fast. Not a thing. I was scared of him. Not a thing. Like that. What you say? What you say? <laughs> hey, Shaz, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, Shaz, everybody in El Paso, Texas. I do a lot of military bases. I go to Corpus Christi, all what that shit. Oh, nobody give a fuck about that oh, shit, boy. Boy. <laughs> Don't nobody give no fuck about that shit, boy. Stop hey, man. it. Well, I do stop. People put you away boy. when you talk about where they from. Corpus Christi is far from I'm El Paso. I'm not a fan of it. I just, thought, I just named shit I don't it's remember. It's just a big city with no character. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mexican it culture, man. You don't respect bro. Mexican culture. Not. I love Mexican culture. Then why you not. say El Paso got no Because El Paso don't even have that Mexican culture. It's, it's mm. El Paso is in Spanish. <laughs> That's it. That's all they got. <laughs> That's all they got. It's the name. Te- Texas don't even claim El Paso. They Texas is Mexico. Mexico. Don't want they don't never mention El Paso. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They be like Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, Corpus Christi, no, Port Arthur. It's just Houston and Dallas. Lubbock, Texas. Ain't nobody ever said Lubbock. I know a lot of people from Lubbock. Houston, Texas. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Uh, they don't never mention El Paso. If y'all don't do the Three Stooges. Goddamn, yeah. Curly yeah. Moe. Who is Moe? Oh, man. Let me be Mo. Mo. You can be Mo. What do you be Mo? He the didn't play no games. Mo was the boss. He was yeah. the boss. It would be it would no, be no, Cuz I'm cranky. Yeah, he's serious. Oh, That'd Mo, Mo. Mo was yeah. the main dude. Hey, listen. Curly. You, you more curly. Sham. Sham was my boy. Oh, That'd be you. Yeah. Sham was like the extra ass. Sham was yeah. like, yeah. But he was the funniest. He was curly, though. Shim Shim was was the most, he was the most physically. I like Shim. Yeah. Shim was the light skin and Ville. So you talking about Mo Larry. Mo Larry. Mo Larry Curly. It was the big Who they talking about, Kim? You talking about Mo Larry. <laughs> malaria, malaria. You talking about polio? You, 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 you polio? talking about diabetes? <laughs> you talking about malaria? Why are you doing this? Hey, listen, they been on my head. We gotta all come together, God man. Goddamn day. <laughs> to the point where I was like, you know, I ain't gonna say shit. The rest of the <laughs> niggas made me be quiet in the backseat of the suburban. I'm quiet as fuck for these niggas. Man, Every time I say shit, me out of moving suburban. You goddamn man. right, because this nigga wouldn't stop. So I was like, say one more thing. I'll push you off the goddamn court. Who was he doing okay. to you? Was he violent? Talking to me? Yeah. Talking to me. I don't like niggas talking to me, bro. Nigga. You talk for a living. Hey, to hear is turning a, burgundy over here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that yeah. nigga had his goddamn suit. He finna whoop somebody, man. But they know I got a disability, bro. It ain't no disability. <laughs> no disability. I, was a, I was in a motorcycle accident. I oh, introduced myself. Oh, God. Why are they acting like it didn't happen? They're lying. What about him says motorcycle? It's car insurance. Just a hat. Just a hat. That's a three wheeler at best. A Can Am Spider. Three wheeler. This, this is what happened. Every time we get around people, Kevin act like he ain't got breasts. My nigga, you, we both got titties. Don't sit up there. <laughs> First of all, this is. How, so can I ask y'all something? Will, will there ever be a Kev and Tahir fade ever? Like, I think y'all should box. Square up? Square, Square up in the ring on one yeah. of y'all. Y'all shoot a lot of stuff. I thought y'all would have been there. We I wrestled would. on tour a couple times. Okay, yeah, cool. That's pause. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a test of strength. It was a little brain <laughs> room <laughs> test of strength. We always wrestled in hotels. It was just a little test of strength. Don't even talk about it. It's crazy you know that all the way from us. Oh, we be watching. That's what we be watching. Yeah, man. Yeah. It be, it's it's oh, a lot of mess. Oh, we got to get that. Let's burn one, man. Let's make it a fist. Look at this. What the fuck is this? 
Cam, what, that was the most. Nobody, 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 we gotta get my boy right. Cam, that was the most police shit <laughs> ever. Let's go. You gonna get us killed if we go to bonfire? We're the burning one. Let's go for one week. If we take care of the bonfire, we gonna get beat up. Hey, Ronnie, and what's your name again, brother? Let's burn one. What's your name again, brother? Cam's like, where's that marijuana cigarette? Where is it? We're gonna do it. You guys have a week. Wanna do it? Have you ever? Have you ever caught a contact high? Down in Brass. I don't know. I, you know, I think, I think like more headed. church people should smoke. No, I feel like at all death, they were smoke. They were smoking oh, yeah, yeah. tough. Now, I know you're hanging around Teddy Ray and all Snoop will come in and blow down the whole, the whole office. office. We wow. have to leave. And that's the people who <laughs> smoked for real would be like, all right, this, this is crazy. Yeah. out here smoking. That's my, that's my goal. Can y'all sit there? Teddy was, Teddy was like, like, bro, I can't. Teddy. Everybody yeah, I know I tapped out with Snoop. Teddy tapped out. Teddy tapped out. Pat tapped out. Everybody that's smoking. You know, Snoop is getting the highest, most scientific of weed is Snoop. They're going to be sending him the best weed. So he's going to be smoking. Like the, he got like much surgery, but way better. <laughs> this is man, my this that propofol, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you say my baby hit. hit. <laughs> Pieces what? hit. And pieces hitting. You see how I asked? What's up? What you talking about? <laughs> he said my yeah. man be hitting. Oh, you know what? I would be remiss if we went any further remiss. without showing love to our Wakanda warrior queens that are in the building right now. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to the ladies. Yeah. Thank y'all. Shout, Shout out to Key. Yeah. Key. Shout, Shout out, out to Key. Yeah, that's what yeah, happened. Happy Mother's Day. Day. Happy yeah. Mother's Day to just pants. All the white boys y'all had on set, man. Fix it up. Fix it. Uh, first of all, I'm not going to do that. Why do you do it? I'm fucking around. They're good people. They're keeping black women on set with us. Y'all do. Y'all do. Absolutely. Y'all's wives be there. There's very few black women audio people, though. That's very true. Shout out to Keith. I ain't never been mic'd by a black woman. Never been mic'd by a black woman. Until I went to Atlanta. Yeah. Come on, hey, man. You're going to learn something yeah, new every day. Atlanta's special, man. I call COVID down here. And she's saying, let me turn you on. To, uh, so what about you Utah? Did you turn my mic off? You know I think he called it in Utah. It was, here. It, was at, it was after the show. They could have been right. Bakersfield. You don't know that. We didn't get nothing. None of us got none. We was with you. We didn't catch nothing. Yeah, all right. He was like, man, I got it from Atlanta. Nah, nigga, I'm going to be dead if I got it. I got it. Nigga, my immune system is gravy, nigga. My immune system is motherfucking salty a little bit. It tastes like. It tastes like Zaxby's fries, nigga. My music system. You got marinara blood. <laughs> I'm out of here, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> COVID went in there and got diabetes. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> COVID got sick of this motherfucker. Shout it. Yo, Robbie said that so quick. Oh, man, I'll be Hey, come on, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> out of here, baby. You know quick and COVID would catch something? <laughs> COVID is funny. COVID catch something. COVID, yeah. COVID, yeah. COVID <laughs> like this. Yeah. You niggas ain't right. Hey, hey man, right you got to laugh through the pain, baby. That's true. Got to laugh through the pain. <laughs> All right, so speaking of laughing through the pain, so the beginning of oh, get to the segue. Right, you hear me? Yeah. The begin- that's kind of my job. Yeah. That's that radio. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there you go. We uh, the beginning <laughs> of the <laughs> pain. Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs> hey, I'm selling. I'm selling. Uh, I'm selling beard masks on my website. The refrigerator is still coming over. I'm telling you, I smelled this candle for all the two minutes, and then somebody sparked another one. This is like, nigga, why? I have it the candle it don't stand a chance with y'all weed. It's for accoutrement. I will say that this is the first time okay. we've what ever had a candle. We, we look so How's lame that? right now for we y'all. Trying to be spiritual. You feel all me? the people like, where the goddamn joints and shit? Nah, nah, you, you, it's all good. It's oh, um, normally y'all had a joint. I feel like y'all, out 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 like y'all trying to sign us, like we trying to audition. This kid's like, tell us about your little operation. Tell us about what you got going. This is legit. Yeah, we got to get the deal, come on. Somebody got to jump on the table. I like this. I like this space. I like the fact that we can go to another city and. If we needed to get some shit done, we know we got cousins that got the shit. This is hey, man, you guys have done. been a motivation over this pandemic of getting Listen. your shit together. 85 South was a super motivation, but to see somebody in the same field as us kicking ass, hiring people, fucking getting shit done with the world shut down. It's like, if you ain't motivated by that, you ain't going to be motivated That's what by I want. That was what I was trying to get so into. Much. Like, So at the, at the beginning of the pandemic, what was your mind frame and what, what clicked in to get you to kind of what we got going on now? You want to go first, Tony? Oh, money loss was the mind frame. Talk, Fam, about, talk oh, about it, Tony Baker. All, all Yo, shit. Did you, Tony did Baker. Did you calculate it? Clean. Did you calculate it? I was like, oh, yes. Ah, don't you do it. I didn't do it. A minimum of this. <laughs> no, don't do that. Not to mention the A minimum of this. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Done. I did not do that. Man, I, I did it. I did. I know I, I couldn't, couldn't do it. And I, I had like, just had a couple good weekends back to back. So I remember me and Tier was in 
we had just been in St. Louis. Yeah. We was in Florida. We we had uh actually no we uh St. Louis was the last one. We came from Florida. Oh that's true. That's right. Florida because I had to do the skydiving thing after we did sack mm -hmm. and then we went to Florida. But then you was too heavy to skydive. I was too fat to skydive. Okay. So I oh I know I, 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 I don't, don't even want to pull, pull up. No, that wanted, since we was being yeah. honest with each other, yeah. they was like, they wait on me. How are you too fat to fall out of the sky? The parachute was like, all right, go ahead, you jump. Listen, that's it. Here's the fucked up thing. They, I told them before I went down there. I told them before I went down. I was like, "Hey, I ain't under this mark, right?" They say, "I ain't under this mark." They said, "Come on down. We're gonna put you with a smaller jumper." So they was gonna try to balance it out because there's a weight limit with both of the, the jumpers. So I'm like, "I bet." I said, "Hey, don't get me down there and embarrass me in front of these people." They let me go through the training all in the morning. They had people come in talking how to put the shit on. They let me put the jumpsuit on. Nah, nah. What happened is like the, the roller coaster. It goes like tink, tink, tink. Y'all, you need three tinks, and it was just two tinks on the parachute. That tink, but you got to get the third. Put your arms up. It's like if that third one don't click, you need a seat belt extension on the parachute. Tink, tink, tink. They let me, they let me fly up. I still was able to fly up in the plane. They just like when I told the jump, that's another one, nigga. <laughs> they wanted to do that all the way up top. Hey, it's like, look, man, just so it was a nigga just strapped to you for no reason. Y'all just it was, it was a nigga just behind you with his nuts on your shoulders. Nah, it, it would have been, but no, it, it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just get all the way up there. I, want, I wanted to go. I wanted to still get the footage. It was oh, a free okay. trip. Ain't got to be a free trip. They, they okay. saw you clearly. They did. I'm hard to miss. So look, going through that and getting fat shamed in public on camera. How do you feel about this dad bod shit? Because these niggas been fat for two weeks, and I don't fuck yeah, with that's what I'm saying, man. I don't. And I don't. we'll be playing us. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, be in this shape, bro. He pushing his stomach out so and YouTube will pay him. Right. I saw him on the gram today. He yeah. back to regular. He's already regular <laughs> in a day, in two days. And he already rich. And somebody like, I'll pay you to get back in shape. He you took that picture shape, months bro. ago. Man, listen. But how do you get a Photoshop to go the opposite? Direction, man. You know yeah, he got. You know, YouTube was finna pay him to lose it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a good. I like how everybody that all open to dad bods now, right. but I had a dad bod in the fifth grade, and they <laughs> talk shit about me every day. It wasn't yeah. a dad bod then. It, it was. was a, I was look like an <laughs> uncle. I look like a little you young uncle. Dad bod when you got uncle, kids. You were you dad. Was just, I nigga. I had. That's all. I look like I ran a pull apart when I was in the second grade, nigga. Pull apart. Bro, you stupid as hell. Oh my god. Okay. All right. But to answer your question, yes, sir. COVID killed the momentum. Mm. It's just like them, man. My shows were finally selling out. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm building the COVID. And then it was just like, you ain't doing none of that. Mm. So now it's just like, all right, we done. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was killing. Like shows wise. Mm. Right. And I had a gig in uh, Twitter was flying me out to do this black Twitter event. And this is right. the first time. I was like, dang, this might be real. They, they, they emailed us and they were like, hey, we're going to cancel this thing out of an abundance of caution. Remember that email at the beginning? Out of abundance of caution, we're, we're going to cancel this, but y'all going to get the money anyway. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. Right, I get to go home and watch my son's soccer tournament because I was about to miss that. Mm -hmm. And then when I got home, they canceled my son's soccer tournament. I was like, dang, it's that's real. real. Okay, hey, man, that's, that's two things now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. And then yeah, by that coming. Wednesday, my next weekend's shows after the tournament was canceled, yeah. by the next Monday, they was like, man, we just going to cancel you out to Memorial Day. And by then, I was like, man, it was just like every week, it yeah. was like, first it was by the week, then it was by the month, and then it was like, maybe by Labor Day. Mm -hmm. By that time they were like that, I was like, bro, this is yeah, you paying attention no more. It's yeah. a wrap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we just got started. It was March. I remember yeah, it was March. March. It was, it was, it was one weekend. It was and the first one weekend, weekend I was doing, they kept, we, we got to cut down the capacity for the Saturday show. Every, every show I did that weekend dwindled <laughs> down. Wow. Look, you're the only act left in the whole state of Ohio. Do you wow. still want to do the show? I'm like, well, yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Oh like 15 God. people in that audience. Wow. I was like, I'll did do it. it. Did it. I was, and then I was scared I wasn't going to get back home because it was yeah. like, we shut shutting down the studio. I was, I was literally sitting with Neil Brennan doing the Netflix show mm -hmm. the day they told us to fly back home. I was like, this, I'm, right, I'm this close to my dreams. Man. <laughs> oh, I was there. Oh, oh, nigga, oh, I was table. shooting. I had just made it to the next round of a show we were doing for Netflix. And I'm sitting with Neil Brennan. Merch the fuck up. Mm -hmm. I had, I, nigga, I had blessed AF on my eyelashes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and we was going over my set, and I was like, you know how you get that feeling like, yeah. oh, we need niggas see this shit, <laughs> but the And then I didn't go back, because I went home and Devil came back. Everything shut down. I was like, oh, oh. Uh, It was a competition, too. I was like, ah. But it made me hustle, though, because 
this nigga here was down for one day. It was like, you know what? I'm going to go on IG Live all day. Right. That was it. QTN. I was like, yo, I'm about to do a comedy show on IG Live and beg for money with these jokes that I wrote <laughs> that I can't do nowhere all of a sudden. Let me give them, let me give them to y'all. Give them to y'all. Yeah. All the other bitches. You ready? <clears throat> Joke. <laughs> 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 y'all go. I'm gonna give it to you. Then, you know. So that's so what, what I wanted to get. Yeah. yeah no. So it. what made y'all put on the production hat and actually take it on, like the whole facility, like facilitate the whole thing? So I was. For me, it was. You don't, uh, you don't have no answer for that. <laughs> I, I so I had started doing work this hard right before we started touring. <laughs> you bitch. Right. <laughs> so work this hard is picking up tracks, and I'm like, oh shit, this is, this is going well, right? So I'm like, this is gonna be great, be able to grow my numbers, tour, and all of that. When then COVID hit. Like shit, so I lost the touring, but I still got working this hard. But that's when uh, a little bit after that is when Zooming with the homies came to me. It was like it was a way to like still connect with my people, still grow the the, uh, the channel, make some money, and 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 still be able to like you know keep sharp on on, on the gift the gap. So I mean, when we first started, like because people had nothing to do, we was we was really like. You can go on there, make some money. I remember Ty made like eight hundred dollars one night. Cranking. And 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 uh yeah, Takar made seven about seven fifty one mm. night. I think the most I made in a week on Cash App Tips was probably about eighteen fifty. Man. In a week. Yeah. Early, on, just, yeah, on, week. early on, I made yeah. two bands. I had to send my dick. But <laughs> <laughs> No, I want to say use what you, you got. As, hey, I just want to say want. appreciate on, you. For I just came to dance and that's it. That's it. <laughs> you found that on a. You didn't even uh, say let me make them with the homies, no, right? You was just like y'all. Was I was just, going IG live with homies, but I wanted to do more than one at a time. So I had I had already had a Zoom account for all deaf, and uh, I, 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 the first one went for went five long. hours. We was in there for a we long was in there for five time. hours because I because I, I kept like Nothing people do. people kept uh, sending the link yeah, to yeah, other comics. Done. And so we went from like 12.30 to yeah. damn near 6 in the morning. That was the first one. Nigga, you, you made up Clubhouse? Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 essentially. Yeah. Uh, but then after that, I just restructured it. We started doing it Monday through Friday. And it was like 10 to 12. Um, and then when Leslie came on, she was like, nigga, you got to do it early. I'm tired. Yeah. So we, I switched it to seven and nine, and then it was just only popping after that. So. You actually had a good answer for that. I thought you were just being a jerk. <laughs> no, nah, I was being a jerk too. Yeah, I didn't okay, so you were being a jerk, but then it got real. Because you actually like, yeah. had a. Now I'm making it look like I was a jerk. Because I was like, you ain't had no answer for that. He just don't want me to talk. Kev don't want me to talk. Y'all see what's happening right now? Nigga did fire you. Yeah, <laughs> Kev did fire me. He fired me three days. I loved it. He fired me three days. You see how to say? You see how you? Yo, look at that. He's releasing the shit out the world. The bottom. Kev want to cut so bad. He's like, by golly, I loved it. Can't find me three days before Christmas. Me and my family had to you move in the car. Just make the story up. <laughs> Every time you make it up, it's a two-door. Yeah, it was a two-door. 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 It was a two-door introduced me to a whole nother section of people that mm -hmm. I never like when I tell you I didn't have no merch I didn't know how to get it out I just had on that hoodie that I had and yeah. you was like nigga where them at and then all the everybody in the more mob was in my DM for real I was selling yeah. them you one have that? no I had them before the I would have them before the pandemic I would get some and sell out and just let it be out and then I would get more sell out let it be out but I've been doing I've been doing blessed AF since like 07, like oh, 08, You know what I'm saying? Like oh, yeah, this is merch this a long game. time. Yeah, like I've been doing like a lot of merch. Yeah, how long you been doing stand up? I've been doing stand up since August first, two thousand one. When you start, yeah. Tom? Two thousand eight, April two thousand eight. <laughs> Dang, 2001? Yeah, nigga. Yep, yep. Me, I started the week, because the only reason I remember the date, because K-Dub started like the 31st or 30th, and I saw him go up his first time. I was yeah. I got there too late to see the show, and everybody bombed. Earthquake was hosting in Uptown. He was like, well, God damn, is anybody funny? And then K-Dub like me. Uh -huh. He was in the crowd, and he did this joke with a brown paper bag. He had it in his pocket and everything. It was funny as shit, so. Bruh. The next Sunday, the next Thursday, I went up. So I remember that. But that it was at another place. 2001, though. Yeah. That is crazy. My second son was I started right after here. the Kings of Comedy came out, nigga. It was like, I was the post Kings of Comedy, Kings of Comedy Renaissance. So I was like, I'm going to do this shit. <laughs> Bruh, I ain't going to wear that shit, but I'm going to do this shit. I ain't going to wear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't want to put on no baggy suit? That's dope. I did bro. put on the baggy suit on that, on, that, on that Kings of Comedy search, that yeah. tour. Mm. Oh, yeah, on the baggy suit? Yeah. I had on about six baggies. I had I had a suit on every night. Every night I was switching them out because they were 150 for two. <laughs> Nigga, I was I went ape shit before Ooh, we went to it. Was shit. Oh, it was it was terrible. <laughs> that shit could wait a real. Nigga, I had that. You guy still there. got them suits? <laughs> Did you 
did y'all see that interview they had? Witness said, crack is whack. Bitch win on Tuesdays. And Bobby Brown came on that bitch sweating like he just played in the rucker. But did you just get through hooping? No, I, I shit was Hulk Hogan. I got rid material. of all this shit, bro. Hulk Hogan <laughs> material. <laughs> Me and the you whole yeah, the women be shopping. What wrong move, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Ripping shirt open for that. I, 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 I said, we need me. White people be doing this. Black people be doing <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. That was everybody on one. In the whole. <laughs> that's my now. Everybody that's on my one. Now. That's dope, bro. Hey, how so, do you navigate with all the like? Cause you, how, you got a fine line between like the the gospel world and the secular world fucks with you. Like we. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we, we love you. <laughs> the the truth, that line is very small. Is. People think it's really big, but most black people, if they didn't grow up in church, they have a familiarity with it. With right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Tone, we talk about gospel music. You love Fred Hammond. I grew up at World stuff. Changes, man. World Changes was in the cafeteria when my mom started going there in 89. We was there when they was in the cafeteria at, uh, I forgot what the middle school was. They didn't know who World Changes is. That's well, Creflo. Creflo was fat. Creflo, they, they need to know. They need to know. I know, know Creflo, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, you know who World, World Changes is? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we've we been members over there. <laughs> See, to him, church like, people be knowing shit like, bro, I, it's, like, who plays for the Lakers? Nigga, Creflo, nigga. Bro, like, <laughs> no lie, Remo. For real, I be telling people, when I grew up, it was like, the way we had, like, Jordan and Pippen, there was the stars Masters. of pastors. <laughs> like, Noel Jones was Jordan. When he Noel was walking Jones. down at the PA, I was nigga. like, what you oh, that's about Noel, Noel Jones. Jones nigga. He was with the suit. Listen, brother, what you need to understand <laughs> is that God, already knows what you need. He's waiting on you right. to That's say no it. Home, no he, no will, he will <laughs> lean over that, that podium <laughs> and stretch and do calisthenics. All, oh, it's ridiculous. Oh but he, he can preach, though. So. What's, what's, what's those white uh, owners preach. of um, <laughs> UPN? I don't know their name. But I you know, know what I'm talking about. TBN. Like, TBN, sorry. Yeah, uh, I think it's Ted. UB. That's the UB. UB. But TB. You black nigga nigga? Five, four, six. <laughs> we got one. That's what I'm saying. Black we over here, bro. <laughs> Ruling the world. Keep it in. No, bro. That was Marlon and Sean. We abstract too, though. Probably was. That was Marlon and Sean. So, what was the hardest church y'all did on tour? Like, what was the hardest? Anybody bomb at a church? Did they fool anybody? Nah, man. Most of the church. Uh-oh. Wait, of us. Oh, you talking about England? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was By trash. Church, church in, in, in England? England? That, that show, that that show was... Y'all niggas Birmingham. ripping in England, church? No. Man. How'd y'all Birmingham. get there? Let's that start that. That church was trash. We... I, it was... <laughs> not the church, but hey, that's the, the name audience. Of the show. No, no, the show. The show. The show is... We cutting that out. That's the name of the church. But to be fair, but to be fair, comedy is still young there. Right. Like, they don't do a lot of comedy shows, like, in London. And Birmingham is a small city, so... We were there, and they enjoyed them. themselves, but they was like, do we laugh? Like, they didn't, uh, they, it oh, just yeah, got it. Yeah, it was hot So too. we, it, it was, was always it was my hot. dream to perform in London. Always, always, always. So we went there the first year, sold out crazy. It was really hard to book the show, though. I like, I, I went online, I was using websites, emailing people, all that stuff, because I have no agent, so I'm literally emailing, got a church, so I was like, oh yeah, man, you can rent it, you know. But then, like, European people don't be in no rush to, At like, all. get back to you. Mm. So yeah, 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 man, man, send us like 200 pounds, we'll hold it for you. So I like, bet, send the money, they would answer every seven emails. So by the time we actually go to London, for real, like I had to, and the church was like an hour out from where we were. Oh yeah, it was. I had to go good. out there, they was having like Bible study on a, you something on a Friday night. And I had to be like, hey man, people is coming here tomorrow. Right. And they're like, oh yeah, we good. We just, you was emailing a lot, basically. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like you doing too much. And basically was like, bro, y'all Americans, man, y'all be just, yeah. so, yeah. right, yeah, bro, bro, come with me, I sent you the pound. We said you know yes. Yeah, yeah. So, 12 hour flight, motherfucker. But the Birmingham one, there was a black girl um, uh, event coordinator. So she found the church, she was booking gospel acts and stuff like that. She was like, hey, I went to your show in London. Uh, I can help you do more places in England. Dope. So I was like asking my fans, where y'all at? And it was like Manchester, but that was like too far to travel. Mm. Birmingham was like two and a half hours from London. So she booked that church in London. So in London, it's, you know, white people don't laugh as hard as black people. Mm. Of course. In England, especially, well, in Birmingham, I yeah. won't say for London. Yeah, London but in Birmingham, it was like black people, but laughing like white people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like they just, ha ha. Right? Yes. And then there's a lot of cultural differences. Like, they did not know what spades was. Of course They not. didn't know DMV. Tony had a DMV joke. Mm, yeah. But they don't call it a DMV. And it ain't really, yeah. it ain't rugged like that. Right. So they was just like, 
Right. Nah, and we nah. get in and out. When we yeah, get our license. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty lickety split. That's yeah. how we was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Johnny on the just spot. blocking all y'all shots. No, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Jokes was just like, no, <laughs> nigga. Just like, bro. You ever woke up late? And it was a huge <laughs> church and it wasn't like, it wasn't packed crazy. London right. was fire, though. That's London that was out of this world. London was fire. London was the show where I really realized my son likes uh, Tony's. Nah, you're going to hear it again. You gonna hear it again. Sick of this, man. My oldest my son. In the, nah, nah, get out your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oldest son in the green room, right? Oh man, with on me. tour. On tour with you. Yeah, to hear up. He on the phone. Tony go out. He like, all right, baby, it's go time. Oh, no way. Goes out. Watch as Tony said. I'm like, okay, cool. He's gonna stay for your boy. He got to. <laughs> Bro, boy. Tony's wrapping up, doing his, his wrap-up joke. I see my son come back in. Whoo! <laughs> hey. Tony Baker. I'm like, you ain't gonna stay for me? He was like, nah. Uh, <laughs> I already saw who I wanted to see. Uh, My spirit ain't ready for that. Uh, I'd be like, take off the motherfucking shoes. <laughs> like, son, you can't. I had to take it to the face. The only saving grace is my younger son was like, I'm going out. Oh, yeah, me. he was all in. So he man. was the opposite. He's like, I'm boycotting Tony. I'm staying here. <laughs> <laughs> boycotting. Boycott and actually, Yo, Josh, back, man. Josh, our boy, he takes video of. Uh, you, own, you, you own a boy? No, I was no, just no, Josh. Our about, friend. I was, yeah, our I was, boy. You got, got a picture of my son guy. coming on stage. I brought him on stage and stuff oh, like dope. that. That's dope. But now London was one really, time? London was fire. No, my, my son who rocks with me. The other one. <laughs> the other <laughs> one, don't get, he cut off. <laughs> he don't get to come out. <laughs> <laughs> do your sons like your set, Tony? Do they fuck with your set? Yeah, they do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Everybody's sons fuck with Tony's set. <laughs> they do, actually. <laughs> my son <laughs> told me that the other day. He's squeeze that water bottle. He's like, you my favorite comedian. And I'm like, oh, man. Damn it. My son said that, too. He told you. Tony's one of my favorite comedians. Too. Like we're very vocal about giving each other our flowers. Got gotcha. like, right. Like we gotcha. tell, and, and Kevin said too. Kevin like Tony, you like my favorite comedian. Like we we all recognize that the greatness that everyone has and brings to the table. And Tony is just he's one of those individuals, man. He, he just be talking and you just start laughing. You're like, what the like, fuck? Man, you what can't is wrong make with you? material out of that. You just you weird, can't. bro. You but can't. it's so it's so amazing and in a, a dope and it's inspiring way too. Like Tony, all right, all right enough, y'all. Nah, all right, the round is yours. So, <laughs> but now you know, two thousand one, we you take start. these flowers, Tony. Nah, the man, other thing out, that man. was a it seemed like <laughs> a good idea at the time. I'm put you in your face, nigga. No, I remember when I booked, or not booked, but I asked to hear Antony to come on. And then come, and I ain't think nothing of it, cause I'm like, church shows you try to book the best show, yeah. gospel shows you book the best show. You ain't yeah. really think of they're not competing like that. You get Fred yeah. Hammond, Mary Mary, you have, they're like, oh man, these are all good. Right. A lot of comedians, I'm not saying no thing, comedy hype, stop. stop. <laughs> don't, don't shout, we gonna cut what? that out. We don't hear no. So listen, oh, man, a lot of comments funny. apparently don't book strong comedians, right. so they look better. But this wasn't a practice known to me. Mm. I was like, well, tough Tony go, it's gonna be a hot show, and to here go, it's uh, gonna be a great host. So I'm. Uh, and then comics start hitting me like, yo, man, you got Tony into here? Like, you, yeah. you feel good about and you that? You going last? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I was. Why you, what, what you mean? <laughs> no, but you then when that Tony was, you know, to here going, and then Tony going, and Cookie. I'm like, I what was what that shit was. What was it like? What was, that, was, what was like? that first set and you thought, them niggas good? Like, Tony, <laughs> to here had a joke. To hear, first of all, I didn't feel as bad for to hear because I'm like somebody got to go in between me and him. Mm -hmm. So he getting the audience going. But Terry had a joke. We threw up the water. You gonna do this? You ain't gonna do this. You gonna mm -hmm. okay? He threw. He talked about working out hard in jeans. And I was like, man, <laughs> the weight stuff is kind of me. He killing with that. And he said it was like tough. You know, you get so sore, which is some my experience. He's like, I try to wash my body. I had to throw the thing up. And, then, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, that shit is that's And Tony funny. had a joke. This is where I got nervous. He had a church joke. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. You hey, said, hey, come on. I said, you Let's know, to the animals, animals and clowns. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he had a joke about, you probably burned this, all that set, right? Yeah. Okay. He had a joke about how Jesus take pictures. He said Jesus was in <laughs> <laughs> on the, and he was talking about how men ain't ready to take pictures. They always don't know what to do with their hands. The I mean, hands like, is the biggest issue. Even though. back to Jesus, look at the fan. He always looked like Jesus is always doing something with his hands. <laughs> so, funny, so when he first so did it on the first night, I was like, Ooh. I'm in trouble. Ooh. And he used to murder. Of the course. only drawback to that joke. Oh, the only the drawback. We'll do pictures after. And everybody just, hey man, don't know what to do with oh, my hands. Hey, man, I don't know what to do with my hands. So either. me and Tahir would look at Tony like, now nah, this is what you got us yeah. for every, every for two time hours. Man. What would Jesus do with his hands? 
<laughs> Are they doing it again? That's what it sounds like to you. Because like, we was doing VIP. We was doing 150, oh, 200, ooh, 300 bro. people. Come on. Every man oh, thought they were the first man <laughs> to, to, say to say that. So by like the 12th city, we're like, yo, everybody thinks uh, that's, that's... Like, it. we all heard it when he... It was funny. Burn that was joke. Merch of the Jesus hands. <laughs> no, Let me tell you something. Tony I never, I never will drop the this. ball on merch. Let me like tell you, what. nobody's freaking. I'll be business. selling merch. No, Let me as show you good something. as Tony I'll is at stand up, hey, hey, he's he's the like, business is selling merch. Y'all are throwing dirt on this man. Flat. Nah, Tony <laughs> don't care. Oh, yeah. That's, that helps him grow. That helps him grow. All Tony helps him grow. Come on now. Water. I know. We're going to spit on That's You know it's true, Tony. I'll be selling merch. Tom was selling. What? I mean, I'm Can pull I it up. I'll be selling merch. Hey, since we, since <laughs> let me pull it up. Let me pull I'll it up. I'll be selling merch. Let me pull it up. Let me you pull it up. The bakery, goddamn. The bakery, man. I done released 18 bakery shit. Now, now he's on. That first time. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, Hold on. Let me tell y'all about the bakery real quick. The bakery design. Oh, here the we B go. Why I like this or that? I didn't like your design. <laughs> it was the same design. <laughs> I drew that bakery shirt. A year before Tony started selling it, the exact, I say, because Wonder Bread used to have the, the same timeline. thing. It was the exact same design, Tony. No, you keep changing the timeline. There ain't no change in the damn no timeline. I gave you the goddamn design. You like, oh, I don't want to do a shirt. Oh, and then, lo and behold, the pandemic I, happens. Now the nigga needs to know. And what does he do? Go to somebody and pay them the shit. For the same design I did for free. Take this money, Tony. Tony don't want this money. No, you got me the bakery design. Yeah, man, it was me who gave him the bakery design. <laughs> nah, you got I that gave him that design. Oh, I did. Yeah, I that was that. Was I really did. I had uh, Corey. Man. Take I the feel heat like off who's me on first over. right now. I just feel huh? like who's on first. You do feel like who's yeah. on first. I be selling merch. Uh, do you ever get annoyed by people sending you animal videos? Nah. Like, uh -uh. Could you like how many do you do in a day? Like, what, like, because it seems like I did ten yesterday. Yeah, but that was just, that was just one of like it, it, I got to make the time now because sometimes some days I don't be feeling it though. Yeah. Like, Fam, that's what I I'm, that's my pr only problem people, with social media. When people start liking, I will be like, man, I don't feel like doing that shit y'all like. Yeah, I don't want to. and people like if it's a new viral video, You're right? Eighteen hundred people will send me that same clip. Mm. You got the answer. <laughs> you got me this is tall. And then if I do it, you saw the one I sent you. Oh. Right. I, like, I didn't even know you sent it to me. But, but that makes them feel connected. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. but it does. Yes. Yes. And That's I don't even say nothing. Part. I feel like, yeah, it was because of you. You know, 1,800 people, 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 bro. 1,800 people feeling like they right. did that. Yeah. It's valuable. It's very they valuable. All cut that part out, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't give away the sauce. We cut that part out. Can't be sending me videos. I sent gems in here all day. I seen Tony so many videos from TikTok. TikTok thinks I like animal videos. They be like, every fifth one. Yeah, I do. Some of them I do right away, like on the spot. I'm like, oh, this is a good one. I'll go TikTok out. TikTok thing, I like big booties to be talking about Draco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. Soldier. Soldier. Nobody want to see that. <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> really. That nigga's looking you for your, your mess. What is, what is he looking for? Yo, he's fixated. He's, he's, he's so, searching to hear hey, Tony. We're going to call to hear <laughs> to hear receipts uh, more. That's nigga name receipts. Let it go. To hear receipts more. Find this is like a. This I'll is like you're a not long gonna find it because it was in person. I'm not. You drew it with your hands and gave it to him. He took a picture of the moment. He gave you the shoe. I want him to find the design so he can see they're not similar. Once you get to that point, man. Yeah. Once you do that. In the meantime, while he's searching that man, keep your distance. Yes. Yeah. How did that start? So Renate that amazing. really started because I did not want to bomb on a Zoom show. Mm. Like everybody was hitting oh, with the Zoom wow. shows, and I was oh, like, yeah. my only problem with them is the reaction time. Nothing. Like when you're telling the joke, you need to know if they're rocking with it. Because even your jokes that work, y'all, uh, we all know. Weed, though. Weed? weed? Weed helps with not caring about their reaction. Oh, weed. Time. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be talking right through my little computer screen. I'm looking right through that, bitch. I don't even know who owned it. I got heckled on the Zoom show. I didn't. That's what I was hearing a lot of. I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable telling my jokes. Yeah. And I was hearing a lot of people heckling. But the main thing for me was I need to know if it's working or not. Mm, so true. people was like, do a Zoom show. And I was just like, I, 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 no disrespect, but I didn't feel comfortable doing it without hearing. So I remember I was talking to Tahir about it. I was like, man, I feel like. Because L.A. just had opened up outside. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I feel like if we did like a small enough, like the Yoohoo room at mm -hmm. the uh, Flappers. Flappers, we all did stand up with 15 people. You know what Correct. I'm saying? You know, it ain't desirable. It's the best. The 3 a.m. show, the 1 a.m. shows be like but that. But I would take Bro. that at least live before I take nothing. So I was talking to here about it. And he was like, yo, I was just talking to Brennan, who, who uh, was working with Tony on his YouTube page. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about the same idea. And then Dave Chappelle released a special with it. 
he had he showed all oh, people right, the thing right. and I was like perfect mm. now I can tell people it's gonna be just like that mm. right. so Brendan and them uh, transit pictures they 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 do all the production for for me even Tony and to here yeah. and for the app and that's where the white people come from just so y'all know that's Brendan <laughs> yeah, we, we Brendan yeah. black but his Brendan black but his partner in crime is white. Tony's white but Man. Tony my boy he cool they get but they know done. a lot of people nah, in production they they in LA. Yeah. There's not a lot of black people in nah, production. They all here. That's why I wanted to sound <laughs> yeah, woman here. Where was she at in LA? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> all this? I hit Brennan. I was like, y'all want to do this? You know, and the, the best part about them is they were like, we'll go in with you. If we win, we win together. If we lose, we lose. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it costs bread up front. Oh, that's the a production bread costs is to have. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? That, uh, that still up front bread. The yeah, these niggas is everything. really. You still got to get your receipts? So, uh, yes. Right now. yes. Yes, Queen. Don't, wanted, let, don't, don't let it go. Look, I wanted to look up the original, but I'll just go to my website. I'll tell you right there. now. I'll tell you to my, re- my website right now. Go ahead, finish your story, Kev. Yes, Queen. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> once, uh, he said, I'll be like this. No, but no, yeah, bitch. Nah. <laughs> I know we shoot. <laughs> you don't realize. Just find it and then we'll continue. Bro, like, <laughs> 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 I told bitch. that bitch, look, he ain't going to be lying to me. It, it ain't, no, ain't going to matter at this point, but I'm going to show you all right now. Listen, you oh. see this shirt right here? Mm-hmm. You see right. the shirt that says yes, yes? Let me, yes. Let me click oh, on, yes, right? yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. That's right. Tony did yes, yes. an episode Tony, I of remember. Wording This Hard with me. Right? Hey, what we talking about. I know it ain't what we talking about. I was I started this. This is going back to conversation going that Tony back. don't want to get uh-huh. this money, right? Uh-huh. I said, when we did this, we did the episode, I said, I want somebody to make this into a design for me. Send it to me, I'm going to pay for it. They sent it to me in like a week. I said, Tony, look at this, man. Somebody did it for us. We should make this into a shirt. We did a promo for it and everything. I remember. I got on it immediately. Y'all were dressed up in like night the, n- shit. Yep, yep. You remember, well, you remember when that out. was? When was that? That was early Before this the year? pandemic. Before, yeah. Yeah. Tony. That was last year. Actually. It was last year, actually, yeah. right? Right? Mm-hmm. 2020. When, when did you launch your shirt? The Yes Yes shirt? It ain't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> One of my one of my best selling shirts. I dropped that shirt on a Friday. By 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 Monday, probably sold three hundred shirts. Mm. Yes, yeah, yes, right? yes. Nice removal, Ask Tony how many shirts he sold. <laughs> oh, the yes, yes. For the yes, not yes. Care. Yes. I mean, I'll get around to it. <laughs> Bro, hey man, you gotta write these jokes. Let me tell you what. You gotta do these cat videos. Way. Nigga ain't got time for motherfucking t shirts. Nigga. <laughs> if I got, Tony don't feel like doing it, bro, that brand I have a right thousand there. cat videos yeah. to hey, sift every, through. Everything, I'm, everything they saying, I'm like, they rich. Because. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah. said shirts in the weekend. No, no, no. He casually said, flushed no, this the little shit home. that yeah, Kev yeah, said. He yeah. was like, we had to put it on. We put He went in half with me and we put it on. I was like, I don't know. I it was a half. pandemic. Said, whatever. Y'all part of it. It was a, but this is, this is <laughs> in the middle of no work. Head. I'm just saying, we're going to tell it. It got to be. In my mind, it's in the middle of no work. It's in the middle of no work. To keep your distance, though, they the production budget is there. Then you split, right? You split the. The percentages with them, but, them but that production budget is crazy. You got to get over that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, right. All right, so so you ain't got to give us the actual number, but I'm gonna shoot and just nod yes or no. Well, that's the that's same. That's kind of giving that's, that's number. Accident, that's accident. That's trying us. to put no goddamn. Oh, okay. We can ask him off Wait, what for was real. The I asked him. What oh, the he didn't ask him. Yeah, yeah. it's like between ten and fifteen. What? Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, the that's pre-COVID. Yeah. COVID. Oh, yeah. and you did COVID testing up. too, so with the that's COVID, another five. That's seventeen k. Yeah, something got up to twenty. Yeah, twenty five. For the budget, that's not because you have to pay for the comic. And that's the that ain't no, that's the flight. That's just the hotel. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. just the budget. Well, well you guys have production been, budget. Yeah, but it was, it was a very hotel, nice hotel. Driver, the the driver was great. Yeah. He took us to the dispensary. We had a great time. Yeah. they got like five cameramen up there. Bro, and them people, them bro, that them cameramen day rate is. Legit. Yeah, yeah. That one, it is. Order to, uh, that's the thing about like owning like people. The cameraman don't necessarily care whether the show makes a million or a thousand. Oh, damn. He right. makes oh, sure I, up. if my rate's a thousand, I'm getting it. Do whatever you do. I don't care. <laughs> give me my thousand. Right. And you got to get them the day before. You got to pay lunch. I don't know why y'all. And, and, and you know what you do every day, man. You got to get a thousand dollars. On top, on top of all of that, everybody had to get tested. Yes. Yeah. Now that everybody, shit was you impressive. Had to pay for the test on, on did anybody come up uh, positive while y'all was testing? We had nobody come up positive. I did. I did. Right. I did. Tony Reagan, friend. Yeah. Damn. One Wait, of the comments. That is your oh, one you of the comments before your show though. Yeah, it was before. Yeah, it was yeah. like, so what oh. you do when the kid get that bit back and be like, hey, kill him? Like, <laughs> no, no, it was just destroy. Like, had to replace. 
in the, in the Stay in your room. But did y'all put them in a plastic bag and then get them on out of there? <laughs> no, because they come early to get the test, and then and then they hear me like, yo, he tested positive, so they can't do the show. I was like, all right. Hey, yo, another stay. comedian was coming. I was like, hey, you want to go up? Hell he no. Like, yeah. I'm into switcher. So y'all yeah. had to put your mom on the phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't going to come home no more. Yeah. Don't, don't come up to the club, baby. <laughs> That's what I thought happened. Was check email. When you put me up. I thought somebody didn't make it or something like that. But nah, she was nah, like nah. really like giving. Comedi- comedians was like, yo, the moment you was right there, another comedian was like, yo, look out for Remo Rod. If he's there, that, he funny. Oh, and he was crazy. like, what up, Kev? I'm Remo. I was like, well, well perfect there it timing. Is. Look, thank there you, bro. Literally. Yeah. I think it was Sydney Castillo. Yeah. Might have been. Shout out to Sydney. That goes to show how important relationships, relationships still are in this game. Because if Ronnie said it, Tyler said it, Sydney said it, it's a, it's a rap. Because we respect yeah. you guys' word. Right. And the, and the That's work how it that was when I hit Ronnie. I was like, yo, Ronnie, come do the show. He's like, yeah, bring my boy Tyler. I was like, all right. But yeah, I figured if, if Ronnie's saying Tyler cool, I because I hadn't seen Tyler. Yeah. Right. But Ronnie was like, he cool. I'm like, well, Ronnie ain't going to. Comedians do not want to that's, tell that's you somebody all we cool have. ain't cool. That's all we have. They're not throwing. They be like, because, you, like, you, right. you know, you hit a baby. How, yeah. How's your boy? Right. Yeah. You so ain't even got to say he ain't funny. You yeah, just be like, yeah. We're trying to get Kamal on it. Yeah, the next go round. Up. Up. So I'm Kamal, Kamal has been doing, uh, how long you been doing comedy now? A little over a year. Oh, but a year, but he been around production for ten oh, years. Oh, the nigga right? has a uh, tour flyer up right Fair. now. Yeah. On the brother on. is. But he the, he the hottest hit. Atlanta. He the hottest comedian in Atlanta. He like number eight. Yeah, Atlanta nigga, number nah, six. He jumped really high. He jumped high. I but gave this, number. They be having Atlanta. Is he right back? Right no, this is the thing. We he sure. been a, he like Kamal been. We been doing this show. We had locked in for a couple of years, and he just hits us with the. Yo, I've been working on my set. I'm Yo, gonna he up. tell us that. He been telling me that for years. But so we I didn't hear go it back before. From, right. to I was gonna take days. a few of them jokes. Actually. Man, look, <laughs> he was like, man, you sitting on. Man. I Bro, feel yeah, bad because yeah, he, 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 we were just yeah. doing our live show. You know, our morning coach live show. And he was like, yo, I'm going to go up on, I'm going to do a set tonight. And man went up there and had his first time on stage. The brother had a seven minute joke. Now y'all know. As wow. One joke. One, one seven joke. Seven minute joke. On the same I was but like, it was bro, late night ready. It was like ready for Fallon right You could have gave that ready to, to me. Be on I'm on a heater right now. I'm on two <laughs> television shows. Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> This is crazy. Right. You could have gave that to me. That's but crazy. The brother, hey, for real, off the top. So it's like, yeah, we, you know, yeah. it's, it's a Voltron it's a situation over here. Yeah, I accepted my flowers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, he was like the guest pastor. <laughs> but, look, but just imagine that kind of shit. You know, they'd be like, yeah, keep read the whole thing. Yeah, when they do it, I don't have to do it. But they always do it to me, though. Like, trap Kev in the corner and beg him to put me on. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was gonna happen. Kid. It was gonna. You were gonna get pressed for He's sure. He's gonna show you his flyer. I don't know if you see. Let me tell you what I realized. <laughs> it, the people who trap me, who don't have another comedian backing, that's the one I gotta be worried about. You better be worried about. Usually Benny the Pitts. other ones, like another comedian, will, the ones that killed. It's always a comedian tells me about them first, or if I hit another comedian, like because I ain't gonna know. Sure. I didn't know all these people. Mm-hmm. I knew like the L.A. people. But Atlanta got us on scene. Baltimore got New York got us on scene. I didn't know all. You that. united the kingdoms, really. You did, bro. You <laughs> fucking. I'm serious. Yeah, you the old lady you from the, the Black Panther. <laughs> you are comedy for real. Now, for real. You, for real. That's you don't get it. To, that's for real. what I was trying to do. No, seriously. My friend, I was so when you said you said comedy. man, you I'm Arya Stark. You said man, you said dog. I think that was more Dev Jam. Nah. Yeah, that was kind of Def Jam. I think the, I'll give it to Def Jam. I think the springboard of that was a more of a Def Jam feel because I think most people that watch that. Saw people that were fucking really hot, but you just didn't happen to know who they were, yeah. and yeah. then you can attach to them. That was more of a Def Jam thing. Comic View was more like it was a few people that you catch on to with a lot of people. You was like, oh, I didn't seen them before. Comic View was playing in the background, like uh, Wild and Out kind of yeah. is. Wild and Out is just on. Comic TV. View was never must see TV. For it kind of was if it was the best thing. Be there. We Be sat there. down. Oh, Def Jam coming on. Do right. not miss one of these three cable. Oh, yeah. But don't trip. Y'all did go. Hey, look, people. I don't give a yeah, fuck what so. you was playing in high school. You got your way at home to watch comedy at the yes. football practice. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go home and watch Bruce Bruce. You was excited. You got to go watch Bruce. Bruce. Point, I don't, there's not pe- many people I remember being like, oh, I had never seen you ever in my life. And oh, I found out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Def Jam was like. Never seen you. Arnaz was the only one. You had Arnaz on my show. That was cool because I had I had never done a show with him. How amazing was that? Bro, he, Arnez, Arnez, my nigga, run no, 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 go ahead. Arnez, well, Arnez is top five for me. Yeah, because I like physical Damn. comedy. I like going hard. Like, because yeah. I come from the play world. Like, we was doing yeah. theater. In theater, uh, you go as hard as you possibly can gotcha. for the joke. I didn't have like traditional comedy rules, mm-hmm. and I'm grateful for that. Like, I went up at Nate at churches, and then I was like basically 
at Nate, Nate Jackson's room yeah. for two and a half years, and Nate didn't have no, like, this is what comedy is. He yeah. was like, bro, you want stage time? Thing. Go up. So go up and do 20 minutes. He was like, go up there until you want to get down. That's so I didn't know that was there. unusual. Wow. So I was up there just working out every week, 20 minutes. And it wasn't no, well, you don't do this, you don't do music bits, oh, you, wow. you know what I'm saying? It was, and it wasn't a lot of OGs coming in there saying this, this, that, and that. Right. So I just was doing whatever I thought was funny, whatever the audience was reacting to. So when we wanted to do the show, the biggest issue, we talked about church a little bit earlier, Remo and, and uh, Ronnie. Church, my brand, Kevin on stage, clean church boy, and what I wanted the show to be, I was like, man, mm. I'm gonna be, it's, I'm, I had to decide before the first show, like, if I let these people cuss, the church folks gonna be pissed. Yeah. Oh, and I was waiting for him to come. <laughs> I <laughs> knew it. You yeah. knew he was a backslider. And he turned. Even if I knew it. Yeah, and I waited, you know, because they was just waiting. They was waiting. Was waiting. Church people had to do number eight. Why do we love yeah. down? <laughs> so they've like, they been, they been zooming for a year at home. Yeah. Zooming yeah. Church. Yeah. That was a good comeback story, too. But I was like, bro, I, I cannot put my comedy restrictions or my style on somebody else. Mm, like, nobody I'm like, if you, you. want to, if I want to introduce you to a new comic, they gotta be at their best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they cuss, if they're dirty, if they're risky, bro, let them do them. The mm -hmm. audience should, and the mind, here's my thing I get mad about church people. <laughs> they say all that, but they watching Power, Game of Thrones. Come on, come on family, 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 right. guy. Yeah. family guy. Yeah. So on, why are you, why are you right. getting mad at me? You, it's not like you, it ain't people who never watch nothing, because they won't even know about the show. Right. But you taking in all that stuff anyway, we watching it together, we talking about it on the same time, like, why right. are you mad at me? Right. So I took, I took some arrows. Did you really? Oh, but what, but, you, but the way you, the way you, <laughs> took, <laughs> I took some. You know arrow. how the church first gonna come? Oh, I got some emails. I know you had to make a few posts about it. I had to. You I put it in the promo. The, the shit was the funniest shit. I took them from shit. the beginning. That's why. Before the promo, I put them in. He the, said that from day one. Like, look. It's, it's going to be cussing, y'all. We <laughs> fine that, that with been it, the name we of the show. fine. But they, wasn't, they thought it was going to be Tyler Perry movie cussing, uh, which is like light like, 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 cussing. Like PG-13. PG-13 hey, hey, tops. No fucks. Hey, give me that shit, woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, when y'all did that BT. We got comedians coming up. Y'all ever smell pussies when they fresh out of some panties? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever smell that shit, man? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Fuck <really>. shit, piss. <laughs> Fuck smell like afterbirth. You know what I'm talking about, Miss Bitch. My, 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 my mother-in-law was one. She was like, I knew you said cussing. They was cussing, cussing. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, bro, these people is real comedians. But church yeah. people cuss, though. That's, what, that's my thing. I, I, try to make a point. I try to make a point to cuss in mm -hmm. front of church people because your grandmama cuss better than anybody. Oh, and she, man. They get to and the she just line. fell out in church. She just fell out. She mm. just caught the ghost. She <laughs> just the caught the ghost. She caught the ghost dead. Oh, they got a nickname? She caught the ghost. Yeah. They put the thing on and put a little sheet on to cover a skirt. Cause they got skirts on, baby. Yeah. You got to cover their skirt up. You got to cover their skirt up. You got to put that little. I haven't heard the ghost. She caught the ghost. She caught the ghost and then got them. Now she cussing your ass out by some fish or something. Right. But my thing was like, bro, I'm going to let the comedians rock so you can see them at their best. Whatever that is. I was, you know, I was like, just stay away from gay jokes. Because that ain't going to fly for you mostly, and it mm -hmm. didn't really. But as far as, like, telling your jokes, and then, like, bro, the people was on there killing. Oh, man. We were so happy to be show? outside, bro. That show was so, man. And the thing that the audience watching don't understand, that's most of these people hadn't seen a crowd that small in years. Yeah. Unless they was working out on purpose. But it was but a like, good crowd, though. Oh, I don't know who you sourced to be audience members, but yeah. they, they give you what you want. Yeah. 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 Tony Baker right laughed. Niggas is in my comments. You hear Tony Baker laugh. Right. Right. Oh, they heard <laughs> Normally they can't hear because yeah. when I laugh hard, I get quiet. Yeah. Man, they was like, I hear Tony Baker, I hear Tahir. Bro, y'all show was like. That was fun. Yeah. I, I was, was at nice every man. show except for one. Yeah. Oh, nice. I only missed one show. We, I had, was, we had fun on Word is Hard, too. Yeah, we had. Bro, I'm, I'm coming don't back get through that credit. Oh, Let's give yeah. to hear some bro. Hey, yeah. Time. Yeah. All All day. Time for Tahir. Bro, time. Nah, straight up. Straight up. Tahir's straight don't up. get it. Bro, zooming with the homies. That's changed the game. Changed bro, the game. that was it was almost like an ecosystem of yes. like people would come on zooming. People would be like, I like them. They go and keep your distance. Yeah. They oh, follow snap, you. Right? Like, like, it I, was my, like I was able to pay my bills with merch after Zoom with the homies. After after when you when you did that video with that hat. 
Yeah, I took a nigga. They was coming. I was like, this bitch did fit the I took an L when they did that shit. Yeah, but I sent you I sent you one that fit. I was like, hold up, hold up. You going auto brand. My head ain't like that ain't the one. That ain't But praise God. It did fit though. It was it was like a can you feel a brand new day on the y'all stepping on Tears. Oh yeah, so anyway. Oh to hear it. Bro, even before uh the That shit happened to me all the time. Every time somebody starts talking good about me, the subject get changed. I don't know if it's God telling me I don't need flowers. I think everybody feel like that. Bro, to hear was creating shows at all deaf yeah. first. Yeah. Uh, I mean, bad news. Bad news. Mm-hmm. That yeah. show, it was the phone? Oh, the God. Phone. Bro, I was like, here, he here. pitched that to me, and I was like, damn, you're fired. Wow. Right. You're fired. <laughs> they fired. You did all hold that. On, on, this on. is a great <laughs> show to so hear. You're were fired. You, were, you, were, you, were you the top writer? or like? I was the head of content and, and talent at all deaf. So you just took their whole shit and said, this kid, yeah. Kim and Kim that's the first L from the church I took. It was all deaf. Real shit. Oh, That's what's up. We gonna give his flowers, but, we but anyway, so yeah, at all deaf, he had uh, uh, <laughs> bad news, and then wording is hard came from to oh. hear not being able to talk the wording English language good. Because <laughs> I was looking for one, and let me tell you what they wanted to do with my ass, just because I look like Levar Burton, the nigga from Reading Rainbow. You do. You do gotta look it up you in the sky. You do look like Levar Burton from Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Butterfly in the sky. Yeah. I can go twice as high. Yeah. Take a look. In a book. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. You look like LeVar Burton's son, but y'all ain't talking. That's, 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 that's what y'all look like. What we, want, what we wanted to do Yo. was take a book. It's in a look. Dyslexic, dyslexic rainbow. Oh, <laughs> man, yeah. He won't do it. He won't you do see it. what they're trying to do. <laughs> no, yeah. Wording is hard. Oh, you should use ability to take up. But that's what you get with rainbow. Wording is hard is different, though. That sounds very positive. <laughs> dyslexic <laughs> rainbow. That's what it sounds like. Now, you made it that. Yeah, He's not like little LeVar Burton Burt. LeVar Burton. Bird. I can't ever see it. All right, that's Bird. all I see. I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> you in Star Trek? It's all right, flower, flower, flower. Flower. But anyway, running is hard from an idea to like to gamify it mm-hmm. in a way that an audience can receive it and play along. Yeah. Like maybe that's what makes it work. It's like not only like me who and won and lost. Going, it's mm-hmm. like I know how to pronounce this. I know how to do that. Mm-hmm. But that's just one show. He created another show that we couldn't do for the app because of um. Doggone legal stuff with, with music. Hey, sit it over here, but. <laughs> oh, oh, legal stuff with music. <laughs> but, bro, Zim with the homies, I was telling to here because we was chopping it up. And I was like, yo, you people will look back and be like, bro, I discovered this person off of oh, that. Oh, yeah, they follow you. And oh, follow yeah. you. Yeah. Like, they got their yeah. own whole world mm-hmm. stars. They need to be watching too. Hey, 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 we seen you on Zoom with the homies. I don't know if you see us in here, but Zoom with the homies, we here. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. And that really helped keep your distance. Like, I was like, bro, you mind if I like, go the, the day before? Smart. Just in case you, you gotta go to Zoom with the homies before the show. You, but got, you got to. But you guys are setting Get up an infrastructure yeah, about to go. for people to steal and do the same shit. Oh, people are stealing their ass. But they're not. I'm they saying they're not doing it correctly. Like, like, you, you should be able to do this right, format. Like, I'm, a, I, I'm never afraid of that because I can give you my Rolodex, but you can't make the call I can make. Mm. Talk your shit. If I give you Tyler's number and be like, and they hit you up like, yo, Tyler, can I get a free hoodie? You'd be like, who's this? Right. I'll get you on from Cab. Well, you ain't Cab. Right. Same thing with Tony. Like, Tony hate talking on the phone. Hates. Uh. From everybody. Hates. <laughs> Tyler Perry hate. called him like, hey, man, I, I, Tyler, I can't. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie. Can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> but because he's my boy and I know he hates talking on the phone, I rarely call him and I only keep him on the phone for a minute or two and it's usually money related. Mm-hmm. We got this. Spectrum commercial. Oh, I bet. Tony got money, don't hang up. But that's the thing. Like, I don't know. Okay. A lot of people. Okay. Okay. (laughs) But a lot of people won't do their idea for fear that somebody will steal it. Yeah. Like they just won't never make it because somebody might steal, steal it. Like, well, we we were the we it did a the uh, social distance drive in on May twenty third of mm-hmm. the twenty twenty. We was the first one to go outside. Like we pull did, up in your we, car. We did, yeah. I seen. I seen. That. Had to pull up in the car. We had the screens. We had. Uh, we, we had, had thirty headphones. meetings first. It took thirty, 30, 30 meetings. meetings. Did y'all? Oh, thirty man, meetings I, per show. I, that's what I don't like. I don't, I don't like the production Let and me the, all this other executive do. shit. <laughs> meetings. I like to go to the stage and go home. We talk to my kids. I said, my guy right here. This. That's what I want to do. These are the comedians. Talk to Brennan. It's over for these meetings, bro. I'm telling you. But who meets though? Once I hear meeting, I'm out. 
just talking let's about have this a hey, do you have a don't like nothing. Do you have a team? <laughs> Tony <laughs> just that, that, that hey, connection. Boy. I do. I do. Tony, listen, that's why God gave him more stand up. Because on the right. business stuff, God was that's like, all right, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, Tony, I have the talent. They get a t shirt. I, I have the talent. I'm not finna move no goddamn bar, Remo. Like? Hey, bro. Okay, so well, we need $10,000 per episode. How much was it again? I got to do it labor. Let's get it cleaned up, dude. I, I have yeah. a question for the executives in the room. Like you all of us are executives, but yeah. I'm getting approached by people that want to buy our content. Like, mm. what do you re- do? You recommend License. selling anything? License. Don't ever sell ownership to your shit. Talk I wouldn't shit. say don't ever. I wouldn't say that's true. first. Well, he's, we still keep the license. He wants me to put my stuff on his platform, and they get ads for it, and they pay me. But I still own it. Oh, that's license. That's license. That's a sweet deal. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, it, it it depends. Like. It depends on what you want to do, right? Because right? if rich. the thing about be people like these are ownership only, like ownership mostly, mm-hmm. but like Issa Rae did, doesn't own Insecure, mm-hmm. right? But, she, but the money HBO gave her and the notoriety that she got from it, mm-hmm. she can flip the next 10 things she will own. Yes, sir. But she might not have got on the map if she was like, I own Insecure outright or I don't do it, mm-hmm. right? So sometimes the best play is ownership. It's just when all the plays are sell, 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 sell. Then you don't have no Get power. Get your foot in the door. Get your foot in the door. Like Violet Leonard. Davis, they all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael B. Jordan, they, they take them, they're work for hire. Kevin Hart, they all talk about like, mm-hmm. movies are work for hire. Yeah. You don't own that. When Kevin Hart sell a movie or Will Packer, you sell that to Universal. Right. But with that money, you should be able to say, okay, here's my idea that I'm able to finance. Kev take own. that marketing budget though. Absolutely, as he should. Yeah. As he should. Because he, he, he's a great an article, though. him and The Rock, bro, yeah. their marketing is better than what the movie can do. Absolutely. They convert yeah. like yeah. seven out of ten dollars of marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you mentioned Nate, shout out to Nate Jackson. He's on The Rock's new show. He plays Junkyard Dog yeah. Yeah. on Rock. The Rock. Yeah. Shout out to Nate. He bought a dope. comedy club. God damn it. That's, That's a good show. A nigga built. Who, he built a comedy built club and fucking black owned. A black owned. That's what he did with his knack of money. How many dates do y'all fucking have? Yo, hey, we actually are doing road. less. Y'all we was tripping, wildin', bro. bro. <laughs> That's oh, like y'all we, have a bruh, we you tell were. Him. Tell them. <laughs> well, here it wasn't by choice though. We was doing. If you much. can't, the, the comedy clubs are by weekend. But if you can't get into them, everybody else is by the day. Like you can't afford to rent those things out for the weekend. Right. So we was getting a lot of churches, churches, colleges, stuff that wasn't like. You know, renting is our main thing. Okay. But the, the the drawback is you can only do it one night. So we was flying from LA, doing one show in say Dallas on Friday, Houston on Saturday, and New Orleans on Sunday. Fly back to LA. Me and Tahir would go back to work. Tony would you know go back to doing stages. Thursday night, fly out, do New York Friday, Philly, bro. And the the red eye flight to the show Friday, and we was doing the Love Hour, me and my wife's thing. So we'd have to be there at like 4:30. And you just got there sometimes at, at 2. 11, 11, 2. And then you got to do two-hour love hour, two-hour comedy show, then 100, 200 people pictures, mm-hmm. and then wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, drive to the next city. Lobby call, 4.30 a.m. 4.30, bro. Like, I don't want none of that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want the money. Most people don't want to do <laughs> that. <laughs> but we had to do, and then the we did first back tour to was back. like 55 cities. <laughs> the second tour was 80 plus. Yeah, y'all yeah, let's go. Yeah. Bro, we nah, they trying to get big change. No. I mean, cities would be like comedy. Oh, well, shit. Every you usually got to go to the bigger city. Yeah. Right. But then people would come out. Hell but there's yeah. not a lot of them. But we was doing Thursday in Knoxville, Friday in Memphis, Saturday in Nashville. That's what my Sunday. that's my goal is going back out. Like I got I'm booking some shit in Augusta right now. Niggas who appreciate it. I want to go where I'm appreciated. Yeah. I don't want to go in no club where they try to make it seem like you're not selling or some shit. And because mm-hmm. that's what they do to the local. I don't know if y'all know this. They do that to the guys who are from the city who mm-hmm. sell tickets. They'll make it seem like you're not selling tickets. These are all comps, but I'm yeah. like, fam, you're not even here. You, <laughs> it's packed in this bitch. Like, right. you, like that's how I knew it'd be some movies. Like, ah, we didn't do too well. I'm like, I'm looking at it. The way yeah. you just told me, it's been nobody. Don't in give here. me the comp, be a Yeah, liar. yeah. So that's what that was my main go to when I had to, when I came over here just to be like, bro, we got the bills. You know, something on our own. I was just happy to be a part of something. But the shit y'all doing, bro, like, y'all put niggas to work. Y'all put giving niggas they light, and we appreciate it. So. Yeah, so nigga, that's, keep. I don't really be feeling like bro, you y'all pipe me back up, so, bro. Like y'all uh, got me all the way Goosby. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up with Goosby, and to see him across the damn nation doing what he loves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 
it touches me just because it's like, damn, bro. Like, I remember you talking to your shit, and then his brother's an actor. Yeah. Great yeah. actor. He's on the guy commercial. commercial, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's him. Yeah. That's yeah. his brother. Yeah. Damn, Boosman. I thought that was your role, man, the nigga I, dancing. I was like, that's I, I had emo. two casting directors actually call me after that shit. It was like, that was you. That was you, bro. You was auditioning for that? So this is what happened. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I got hit with the production, bro. Mm. During like I was doing acting shit, movies and whatnot. Got hit with the production bug. Saw Will Packard draw the same car as Idris Elba was like, "Hey Will, you know ah. what I'm saying?" And, and and Will was a big bro, so he befriended and and it was just like cool. Got out of the acting shit. Should have stayed in the acting mm. shit. Now I'm, I'm circling back. Some 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 family shit happened, but you know we circling back. You know what I mean? Mm. But for the agents to be reaching out, because they like, both drive that car. That's your role, right? You said it like one had a better car. No, they said like, going down this, but they drive the same. Hey, the same, same, same no, I said should have kept that. Did you know <laughs> Remo did a freestyle with Idris Elba and Omar Gooding? <laughs> really? Yeah, they got a mixtape together. Y'all? We don't have a whole mixtape. We got. They did. A, they, did, they, did they got a song Omar. together. They got. A, they got a song. Omar has a rap. Omar has Word? a rap. Omar got bars. With Pete, with Sweet Pete from Baby Boy. Yeah. Y'all be for real. Ghost Dad bars. Yep. That's an interesting thing. What would you call That's it? That's an interesting thing. Ghost That's an interesting dad. Ghost dad bars. I did not know Omar Gooding was rapping. Elba, it, it just Elba, how he is now. It was just like, yo, yeah, just a dude from, what, you know. What movie said y'all was on? Was he from The Wire the by then? They were shooting a movie, and they was, the gospel. They just got together and the rapped. The movie The Gospel? Yeah. I remember that, You was in that? Yeah. You was in that, Joe? was in all the movies. Yeah. That's what As Remo Rod? Hey, as Remo Rod. As an actor. That movie made about 17, 20 some million dollars <laughs> in the box office. Yeah, that was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, Man, that's they only took him yeah. like seven years. Remo's in Drumline, yeah. Stomp the Yard, ATL. He's in all the classic. Flower, flower, flower Time? Is it, is it, is it Flower Time? He's in Gospel. It's Flower Time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Gospel. Um, <laughs> ATL. You was in ATL? Yeah. yeah, that made twenty some million at the box. Come on, Tony man. is a freaking stomp the yard, sure. Tony. Oh yeah, because we yeah, we talk about that your good uh, opening right your there. Your movie, Chris the, Robinson. Two dyslexics at the end. <laughs> Yo, then we got the two, two movie buffs, right two there. savants. Who are you in the dyslexic group? <laughs> hey, I know where to put you though. <laughs> we in the tethers. These are the tethers. I'm trying to get executive tether. Let me get my. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. I do a lot of production too. I like. Man, I, 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 I like it either. The funny thing about so when I had to let to here go, I didn't fire him. We had a let same thing. Go. The same mm-hmm. thing. They, they, they made laid him off. They, oh, they, they, they went on my money. They went on more money. But you know, Russell he, was wilding. No, nah, that's where the money went. Mm-hmm. So, but after that, Tahir came back as a producer, making more than he was. He don't never tell this part of the story. Uh-huh. We brought him back immediately on the. On the <laughs> nah. Immediately on the. Nah. You got a new Same desk, Tyler. Same desk. That's so fucking hilarious. Creative <laughs> shows, right? I'm giving him the week of work, producing stuff, then being talented and stuff. He, he like, yo, low key camp, I'm making more on the freelance tip. Mm-hmm. Then took him on tour. Mm. But get fired, me, get fired. Me. Don't never tell the rest of the story. Made a whole thing. Damaging to my upright. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good story. It's a I pivotal. gotta sell this book, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it is compelling, though. It's like, oh, oh to hear. That's yeah, why I was man. like, that's why I kept saying, I'm like, you and Kim got a fight, bro. I don't like it. No, right. man. <laughs> well, listen, listen. To hear also don't tell the part. The, the, I fired him on a Friday. Yeah. Called him on a Sunday, bro. I was in tears. Because, nah, uh, bro, I know night. what it's you like. Called, if, you called the same night. You called the same night. Bro, yeah. Was it the same night? Same night. You called the same night. Bro, to night. have a family, most people in LA don't have a family. Like, totally only other, one of the few people, and his kids are grown. To hear has a, he has a daughter that's my son age. Mm. So I'm like, bro, I know he was working at the jail. He hustling, getting after it. So when they, mm-hmm. and that's why I was so mad at all death. Cause on Monday I was like, yo, if y'all gotta let, cause they was canceling his show, mm-hmm. right? So I'm like, if I gotta let him go, just let me tell him now. They're like, oh no, no, man, well, he, he's in. Just cancel the show. Cancel the show and then on Friday they was like, also him. No, <laughs> the show. man. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I was like, they told me my job crazy. was safe on Monday. So the whole weekend, uh, we just count down the end of the show. We're like, all right, cool. Well, all good things must come to an end, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching the drop and cut. Then Kel comes in. Can I talk to you for a second? Uh, uh, day after no, day. Like, as soon as we said cut, that nigga really popped in. his head and was like, can I talk? And these. <laughs> These that's fingers have never, good. Good. Wrong, have never been never anything good. 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 Nothing about it. Two fingers. Never good. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. The no crazy part is, bro, <laughs> the, the doors was glass. Yeah. Wow. So when they was, walk, they was winding down, I was like, let me get over here. So he's like, yeah, thank you. 
Thank, thank y'all, man. <laughs> Listen, you know door. what it was? It was on house party when that nigga, that male thing came through the door. He was like, yeah, get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call you back. You yeah. know what I mean? He <laughs> took me in the office that had no furniture in it because I was going to throw everything around that bitch. <laughs> I even made it. He did a smile fade. I was like, you know a smile fade when you turn around? Thank you for watching the drop. <laughs> <laughs> the slow swallow. <laughs> I came out that office, niggas was looking like. Oh, he's gonna go crazy. Oh man! But oh, the crazy thing is, the, people in the, office knew this. the the one of the executives at All Deaf, he gave me basically a brand deal mm. to put All Deaf's name on it. Cause I was like, yo, I'm gonna bring you on tour, but you probably gotta fly yourself up, out and put yourself up. Cause I didn't really have the money for me and Tone. I was gonna get a local opener. But when they made me do that, I was like, bro, that ain't, that ain't right, man. I got to do something like. Yeah. So they gave me a brand deal, and I was like, bet. Now I got money to fly to here out and put him up so he can make his, you know, make his bread. Plus the all death where he was up. It was up and it was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll never that's be church come out. secular canvas. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's up in the stuck, <laughs> praise the Lord. I just want Cam to go out one day. These niggas are the most ungrateful. This is another thing that got me caught up. I'm sure. You said I, saw, I heard you say squirt on your page one time. Squirter? You said something about squirt. You I was squirter? like, can, can he he say like that? Don't, don't you put that evil on me. I thought he said squirt one day. Maybe on the love hour. You might have said, you said something. I was like, can you do, is that Lee? No, is that Lee? <laughs> but people and, get mad about nigga, huh? Yeah, but the thing is, like, here's my thing about Christianity. We was just talking about this today. Well. Mm-hmm. I don't like mm. a lot of, t- and this is when I grew up, and I was doing this too, but I, I, I see how harmful it is. A lot of times Christians, we, we, we portray the version of Christianity that we think is good. Yes. But then behind closed doors, cussing, smoking, having sex, whatever. Mm-hmm. But then you get mad at people for like their portrayal. So mm-hmm. I was just like, when I first started comedy, I said nigga. And people from church came. And I was like, but I say nigga. Like, yeah. I never cussed, <laughs> but I always said nigga. Yeah. Oh, that's the but one this thing, thing I was thing, like, I'm going to take this. Cuss, though. Every pastor I'm you know. I'm going to get to that, Ronnie. I'm going to get to that. So when I was at Nate's, I, and my jokes, I'm clean as in I don't cuss, but the material is not always clean. It's right. sexually rated. I'm married with kids. Like, that ain't the Holy mm-hmm. Ghost. So that ain't the ghost. That ain't the ghost. <laughs> so on my podcast, ghost. I really wouldn't say it that much, but but here and there. But then I was just like, bro, I'm not like I'm not finna hide a piece of me, you know, mm-hmm. just so people feel like I'm something I'm not. Mm-hmm. You either going and that's kind of what I was doing in the pandemic. I was I won't say I was being fake, but I was like trying to present the this brand, right? But then I was realizing, bro, you no matter what you're going to do, people are going to be pissed regardless. Mm-hmm. So, all right, y'all going to be pissed for who I actually am. Not right. even, and it wasn't carefully craft, crafted. I just really didn't say nigga. That was really it. But if you listen to The Lover, I'd be talking crazy about sex and, you know, stuff like that mm-hmm. on there. If you see me on stage, and also I was, I was doing comedy at churches. So, like, you don't say nigga at church. So, right. I'm not saying it. But now, the, 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 uh, the last tour was called Slightly Problematic. I was like, I'm about to do the jokes I was doing like I was doing them mm-hmm. when I first started. Mm. You come to a comedy club, you expect a different type of yeah, comedy. Yeah, right. But I'm still not cussing, but I'm just not, not saying nigga. So they was like, and he said, first he let the people cuss. And now his content was changing. <laughs> and I knew it the whole time. And I was just like, man, they, they just People like, be typing because they got fingers. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> I, can, I can say they something to your ass. Type, man, but I was just like, bro, I'm sick of it. Like, it's one lady keep telling me escape laws. I'm like, you fucking lying. They bust <laughs> their ass. <laughs> Escape they, had the better. I, I uh, answer back every friend. time. She done hit me about four times a real. I said, Escape one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she typed all this shit. One? Yeah. Hey, hold on time. Yeah, yeah. Speaking uh, of verses, Tony Baker has been in R and B from oh, verses. Oh, <laughs> your verses <laughs> track, nigga. And them comments. Man. You've been in the comments. Teddy Riley was. I like the comments. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, you go crazy in the comments. Like the flowers in the comments section. Flowers. But it has gotten you in a little bit of. Say hot water. <laughs> they tried to do that petition. It's a petition to get Tony Baker <laughs> banned from yeah. verses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hold on. They tweeted they tried to get it going. And then Who I guess they did it. Who are you petitioning? 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 Watch no. the show. The <laughs> thing about it, though, that's crazy. If they don't want to see your comments, they can block you. Yes. Yeah. That's all they, they won't do. see the but comments. But they won't see the animal comments. They, they be mad, the too. These are people that don't even know me. Yeah. I think oh. the people that really hate me don't even follow me. 
course not. Because the people that already know me, they just like, man, Tony, crazy, man. But we having a good, because er, every battle, I'm giving love and light to whoever's performing. It's amazing. Right. And then I throw in some jokes. Because I'm fan, I'm a fan first. Right. Yeah. I be like, man, I remember when this album came out, I had on this. Right. You know, like Steve Harvey was doing when he was hosting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you hold like your lady. eyes like black this Twitter. This was long, man. <laughs> He was talking like he was in the band. Yeah, Ryan on the stage. Tell us how he hey, made this record. Are you, you fired? Hey, why the fuck are you talking so much? Ryan actually fired. went to sleep twice. I had on a mink <laughs> coat. We came in. We was in middle school. I'm like, no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what Ron Isley and then was doing to create the song. Oh, oh right. And dance for Ron Isley. Did y'all see? Did Ron y'all? Isley said He hey, would man. get up for Earth, Wind, and Fire. He'd be like, ah, oh, kicking stuff over. And then the Isley brothers, he was like. Right. I'm like, nah, man. Yeah, that energy is stupid. Love. Did you see when Ernie sat down? Every time Steve Harvey talked, Ernie get a little nap. Ernie just sit back and be like, this. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he put the guitar down and be like, this. Yeah, man. That nigga wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Ernie already had the glasses he just, on. He had a glass. He just he sit up and grab the guitar. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he killed it too. Yeah, he did. I went on tour with them, bro. I went on. You I went. On, I went on tour with the Ozzy Brothers at Earth, Wind, and Fire. This dude done had a fool. On the Comedy Soul Fest Why are you, Ronnie Jordan? Talking about help me. These children don't know. There wasn't no phones out when I was doing this shit. Bro. We had no cameras and shit out, brother. I think you fell into a lot of comics. I was in the sidekick era, the two-way pages. I'm not going to do this social media stuff. I'm a real comic, Jack. No, no, no. I was one of them guys for 30 seconds. I was like, what are we mad at? We mad at they know their fans? And then I started meeting them niggas, and they was wanting to meet us, and they were like, why the old comedians be hating? I'm like, because they angry. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I just, it, like, I started with, like, Bank Shot. We kind of build a shot together, and I just kind of, they be coming to me now. Can you help me write? Because I'm telling them, like, when I meet them, I'm like, fam, you fat, you going, you rising fast. You need a set. They going to call you with this money. Go to your best uh, skits yep. and make the set out of the skits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they calling. They're gonna yeah. call you, and you need to take a vet with you and pay him to help you write. Because I tell everyone. Bro, that. He, I tell people this all the time. Comedy clubs don't care about comedy. They don't. They care they about ticket sales seat. and yeah. two drink minimum. Yeah. But that's why they I don't doing feel a, like you that. You had a ventriloquist <laughs> act and you were selling out and they buying drinks. Man, they I'm booking book the hell out Jerry's puppets. They don't care. Yeah, I don't be getting booked. That's why I be. I'll be like, y'all Ronnie Jordan. I'm like, what tell the start on that? Because <laughs> yeah. I used to headline that motherfucker all the time. They're like, but, but your numbers, Ronnie. Ah, like Bruce, I know Bruce, but it's like I don't. We've been pushed out. I'm in a whole pocket of comedians that have been pushed out of the comedy club and had to create something else because. I'm not selling out in 30 minutes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, all right, well, let me just lay low and build a, let's build a, some hoopla. Yeah. And that's what I've been doing with going to appreciate y'all platforms yeah, for kind of, like the hype is mean. happening. It's just because y'all got crazy fan base and they're like, nigga, where the fuck have you been? I'm Bruh. like, One thing I, I, love, I love it when uh, I can repost a video. Like when I reposted y'all joint and then I can look at the numbers. Don't hit him. And I'll be like, yes. Cause I know, like, yeah, people respond. They love it just as we. And then if if y'all can get far, the the best feeling in the world to me is putting money in other people's man. pockets. Man, mm-hmm. that's the best feeling in the world, man. That's that's why I was willing to hear take the church for being five. mad, huh? It's top five. It's the best. Like I, I like it's it. The even best, more. I like getting money too. And then say, y'all like never had heading the left, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, y'all been out here touching. Y'all been out here sampling the wrong shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was top five. He was with you. You know what I mean? Come and he was like, I had, I mean, he had he him. He was thinking about it, too. Tyler got here for two letters at the same time. Immediately. Like, <laughs> immediately. I mean, what about I, I love that money. feeling, I though. That. I'd be like, yo. <laughs> nah, you right, though. Nah. I give you this much. And that's no, really man. what I was doing at All Def. And that's what I realized I liked even more than, like, putting myself on. It was like, people getting their yeah. first reel or paying their rent or mm-hmm. even just putting something on it. Like, tell him to tell me this at the time. But we had a show for him, a two-minute drill. Mm. He was getting like a little oh. bread, but it was weekly. They kept me alive. <laughs> I was fresh out of the divorce, man. I was living off comedy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, that two minute drill. I was like, man, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I needed this. And yeah. we went for 18 months. Yeah, and you then, stressed it out. Oh. Like, oh, let's get rid of this. And Kev was like, no, man, keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I was I'll pay you on the talent side and the right, man. Don't yeah. tell nobody. Yeah. Yeah. So then when, I, when all that money ran out, and I was like, well, I, I realized I like doing that. Because, bro, there's so many talented black people. And thank, we don't have you. no, like, don't we don't have the platform. So I was like, bro, if I got to, I, mean, I don't take that many arrows where I'm like, I am a martyr for my people. It ain't that. But I do take some hate. But it's like, bro, but in exchange, so many people find more talented black people. Yeah. And they get to support them on their own. And that's worth people being like, man, but you said nigga. 
I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> you said you and you can't you. please people no way. So Not like, everybody. Man, forget nah. it. I'll be mad at myself. No, nah, but I've seen like, you get like way. funnier, bro. Like I've seen you, oh, your, 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 your stage has got happened, very strong. Man. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened, Ronnie Jordan, because I know. <laughs> Three yeah, be- things before you, can I give you a flower? Ah, man, I've had you a are the most <laughs> non-offensive pointer I've ever met. Yeah, <laughs> for real. That, 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 no, I, yeah, I would be, normally I would be like, "What the fuck is this nigga pointing so I'm much for?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, when well, he this point, point, you point, I take, I take no, I take no offense to your pointing at all. Please continue. That nigga I'm gonna tell you what happened, bro. Right position. It's definitely a positive point. When he points, you feel like you're gonna get some money. Come on. Oh, damn. Like he you with his account account right now. Every time you point at me, I was like, you know what? Check your zip right now. Check your zip. Right 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 right. right. Hey, there you go. Knock him out. <laughs> Every time you point, he got a different outfit on. Bro, why are you Big bullshitting? Coat. Oh, a big coat. Oh, man. I don't know what he was about to give him a good point. It was three things that happened. One, a lot of the Keep Your Distance audience was repeat. People in the audience and buyers. A lot of mm-hmm. this mainly stage crew. My my Patreon audience, my longtime fans. They was like, I'm coming to every show. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, and the audience is the same. So I was like, dang, I really can't do the same material, mm-hmm. you know, like that. So then Tony was like, yo, come do my show and and do brand new material, 10, 12 minutes. And then I bombed. Not on my show. No, no, no. I'm, oh, I'm my, I'm, oh, on on the Thanksgiving yeah. Keep Your Distance, which was by the grace of God, live to tape or or tape to a later stream, yeah. because I took the biggest L. Mm. So I was like, but what, because you know, I was like a little bit of, it, not afraid, but afraid. I kept on stage, because other comics was coming, like, let me see what he's about, mm. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, he funny on, but I'm gonna come. Yeah, and for the most part, <laughs> people were like, oh yeah, I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? I want comics to respect me, because I'm a comic. I want people to, you know. But once I bombed, I was like, well, the worst happened. Yep. Like a strong, I'm talking about, L to the mm. face. We was just talking about this today, a too. A quiet L. Tyler. I looked Tony dead <laughs> in the <laughs> eye, <laughs> mid-bomb, oh, Tyler. Weird. Mid-bomb, Tony was like, hey, man, I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's happening to you. He couldn't help me. You you know, I was drowning. He was like, I can't swim. So I mean, <laughs> but he, I looked at my wife. She was like, Ooh. I mean, it was like, I it was happening watch. this slow. And you know, oh, when you take taking watch the L, bomb, it's crazy. bro, nobody was helping me. And I go to, <laughs> I went to a, my pre-closer yeah. from the last year. Trying to like, kill it. Him with the hits. I pulled that forward. <laughs> I ain't have to do that. Okay. They was like. <laughs> <laughs> I got them Draco jam. That nigga said Draco. <laughs> I'm talking about. No soldier. <laughs> and once that happened, I was like, uh, my bomb. Man. There it, is. there it is. But after that, I was like, well, nothing happened. You ain't die. That's I what I, you, didn't, you didn't die. You get no arrows. Yeah. But I was like, so now if I, if I, you know, if I, and another mistake I was making that show specifically, there was an audience there and I was talking to the camera, mm. but there was nobody there. Mm. But you, that, that audience don't matter if this audience ain't laughing. So yeah. I was basically, literally, because the stage is raised, I was literally talking over them, mm. right? So that uh-huh. was like, okay, so you focus here, yeah, which is what right. I did. Mm-hmm. But um, it was Jewel. cold too. It was uh, it was Thanksgiving. It was another <laughs> it's fine. You pay, I'm you talking about, bro? I hadn't bombed like that, and that's the thing. I was talking to Tone like because I was kept on stage, and, and really I'd say that because I was afraid to have a bad set. I would get my set really tight, and then I'd run that set straight, 45 mm-hmm. minutes. But I couldn't do that. I had to go like back to when I was first at Nate's, like because it was a lot of repeat customers there. Mm-hmm. And then Tone was in there like, if I try to do an old joke, he was like, nah. Don't do it. So I was like, bro, let me just go. Let me just do it and go as hard as possible mm. and be fearless about whatever happens. And then, bro, we, I was no, like, you got, I ain't never cleared that bro. many jokes in. Yeah. The pandemic was great for me as a comic. Man, that's man. I was like, bro, I could yeah, do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Tony don't never like bomb, Charles though. Dutton, <laughs> 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 he was clubbing I super hard. Yeah, nowhere to go. <laughs> what are you doing, Tom? Hey, he was clapping <laughs> super like, hard at Rudy. He said, Charles Dudley Rudy. He was so hyper, Rudy. He was so hard as half of Hey, that started bleeding. Charles Dutton on Rudy. I love an obscure I use that reference. I gift a lot, too. Uh, oh, my God. Obscure <laughs> reference. <laughs> That's how this is. Oh, oh, God. That's the whole thing. And he was in the little alley. Oh, he went out the game you, for real. Yeah. I'm gonna walk from the, I'm gonna walk from the crevice. And, but when you heard when he clapped, you were like, "God damn it, I'm uh, black. I can't go in there." Uh, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Rudy trash is full. Rudy sorry. He ran down the kickoff. In Central Michigan, man, move. Why are we watching this? I'm, yeah. I'm mad they had a whole production <laughs> company to do this goddamn movie. Watch out, And man. it's a black person pilot right. sitting it on the a nigga that was like, a janitor and return here. kicks at the same time. Uh, he should have <laughs> had the fucking movie. It should have been about Randolph. Uh, uh, Rudy. <laughs> I seen a nigga on YouTube with one arm crossing the shit out of the nigga. Bro. Bro. He need a movie. You see Dunk over there pointing at him with the arm. Shut up. They pointing at him with the arm. I mean, and they got a steal of it. Ah. He looking just like that with like the one arm. Ah. But the one, and he just yammed on somebody. I'm talking about putting it in the rim, it. bro. That's he, what I'm saying, bro. I can't. But he really did. Yeah. I'm that telling you, nice, I'm gonna nice. find the picture for Don't you because you that. think he, he being mean. Nice. I'm not being mean. He not uh, being mean. He really did. Mean. He dunked on that man and then we walked down the court like this. What's the name of who you know? You seen this comedian from Memphis named Grover Hero? He do like roast. He be roasting. But he got the baby arm, but this nigga hoops, oh, and he be crossing niggas. Crossing them cast tails. And they ro- he roast. That's all they do is they roast <laughs> this nigga <laughs> bought a food truck. <laughs> that, nigga look, that nigga look got like. Him. <laughs> got, got him. him. <laughs> he got him. Nah, it looked like a division. So. He just banged on somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's that. the wink. It's the wink. Come on, man. That nigga was like, ah. <laughs> How did y'all come up I with the show? I thought y'all was saying that he was pointing with the. Uh, <laughs> I thought so, too. Uh, no, that's I thought so, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, actually, he was. He did it. Draco with the other one. He was. He did it. He did. He was. I bet he got a TikTok. He His like head said point, but obviously. Nope. Not going to even do that. Because you know how when you move your arm, right, your head yep, say what, do it right. first. Oh, shit. So y'all, like, really, y'all write every day? <laughs> y'all write every day? I'm just wondering. I, I write every day if you consider the videos. side-by-side videos. <clears throat> but, bro, a lot of that is material. Yeah. yeah. It's just the source material is something from the internet. But the rest of them jokes are, like, the video didn't give you those jokes. Right? Yeah. So a lot of times when I'm like, man, I need something new, I go back through the stuff I said, and I'd be like, bro, I'm... And that's Tony was like, but Tony was like my sensei. He was like, Kevin, you be writing every day, man. Shut up. And I was like, and Tony got big hands. So they was like, oh, like, shut up. Put up a book. So I was just. So Tony will give you tough love, man. And he was like, man, shut your ass up, man. He liked the Muppets in the balcony. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, come on. But that same Muppet went to last chance you. <laughs> you got a real athletic built like a basketball. You just got what? like big ass. <laughs> Last <laughs> chance you on Netflix? Yeah. That's funny. You got, but you got to have somebody to hold you accountable for jokes, or else you can end up being a hacker. Especially with y'all having great fans on mm-hmm. online, you can just put up some shit and they're gonna laugh. Yep. You know what I'm saying? To give you a false sense of absolutely. Being good. And mm-hmm. that's a that's the one. That's what Eddie Murphy was saying. What really messed his mind up. He was going to, to shows and he was like, I know this material is trash, mm. but they laughing yeah, like it's yeah, real. Yeah. And he was like, I can't, I can't, I don't know what's real and what's the matrix. Yeah, so he was like, I'd rather just not do it than have people give me fake laughs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's really good to have real comedians like beside you. Cause Tahir was working on a joke and he bailed on it. We oh. was in the audience like, nah, man, do it again yeah. from the audience. That's me. Oh, he bailed tough. He bailed tough. Yeah. And then try to go back to two-year-old oh, jokes. Like, oh. yeah, yeah. You get back in that joke. <laughs> Nigga, I was to get back. Listen, I was bombing in that joke, and I started peeing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, being fat. And they was like, no, oh, nigga. Oh, no, oh, nigga. Oh, bro. You ever listen, be thick in prison? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I finished the rest of the new material, and then I doubled back to the joke. And But it was one of those jokes that you got to do with energy, and I yeah. didn't approach it the right way. Mm-hmm. So when I doubled back with it, the crowd, like, nigga, he can't go do it. Man. And that gave me the energy I needed to, like, finish it strong. And mm-hmm. luckily, the, the, the relationships that we've had, we've been afforded, like, crazy opportunities. So we... We used the studio that we have to do a workout room, mm-hmm. but it was like a professional workout room. For sure. Full comics, small audience, one camera. We filmed it. Everybody can say set. And when I, I set the tone, like, yo, we working out new shit. You see this in two months, it's going to be funny as hell. Right now, it might be dumb as hell, right? Right. But they rolled with us, and they, everybody did 20, 20, 25 minutes. They allowed us the, the, the opportunity to work out New those shit. bits. Like, niggas was like, okay, y'all like the one? Well, to go back to the phone. Mm-hmm. Tony was trying so much new stuff, man. Yo, next two months, y'all finna see an influx of amazing comedy. And when you're funny, bro, we were on the road. Like, I realized, they say, we say the same jokes every night. Mm-hmm. Every night, I'm like, bro, here it come. Mm-hmm. Here it come. That. Bro, for 50, 80 nights, the second tour. 
I was laughing at the same joke, mm -hmm. like it was the first time. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you see, I remember this one time I was in Tacoma. This comedian would do the same material like every time. Yeah. And and they would go around to different because most people just go to the one club. They was going around to all doing the same material. So one time they was like, somebody's like, come on, man, you doing this too much? They were like. You go out too much. That <laughs> <laughs> is your fault. You come all the time, man. Shoot, right. people come once yeah. a month, once every other month. Uh, once a quarter, man. Stop. What are you? You ain't gotta work. You come out too much. That's the reason I had. I came off the college tour because I was doing like in them contracts. You gotta do that hour. Yeah. These kids have never seen comedy. I'm like the first fat black guy they seen in person. Sometimes I'm in Maine, Vermont. And I'm doing these sets, but I was like, bro, when I get, I, I ain't had no time to get on stage. When I get home, I get home with the wife before right. I got kids or whatever. But yeah, just to, to fucking get somewhere with grown men is that <laughs> you can cuss and barbershop style. Yeah, like, man, that was, it's very valuable. Colleges are tough, was, man. Like they broke their bro. <laughs> and the older I get, them, I get the, the more is the gap between what's what my life is and what y'all yeah. life is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just like, did one the other day, and it was weird, and I was like. Uh, I don't know. Right. Yeah, because you 21, man. I don't know what y'all be talking about, man. I, I got know, kids. I that's care. closer to y'all age than College I College shows is the reason I fuck young bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about the, the stage. 24 to 29. That's why I'm getting my material. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it for research purposes. Nigga, do you know 42, Doug? I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, that little, that little thick little boy. Come on, man. That little boy. That thick nigga got long arms, though. He can tie his shoes down. Boy, that nigga like a baby. Shit in my life. He, uh, he can't have that nigga knees. built like Miss Juicy. Can't from have, Ricky he Miles. can't have knees, bro. <laughs> built like Miss Juicy is nigga built like Exactly, bro. You got to uh, You, you got to like little Roscoe from Martin. But that's what Ronnie was telling us, though. Exactly what that nigga looked like. Like, just turning the studio, you know what I'm saying, every now and then into like a little small workout room. Yeah. But that's, I just said it before y'all came in here because I was like, I'm not breathing with these open mic niggas. I'm fat. Right. You know, Remo did say that you just said it. I know, I was just saying it too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I just said that. I just said that. I just said you just said that. And he hit me with that. He hit you with the day. Ah, I just said that. I said that. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just warning y'all right now. Anytime Kev gets in this position, he's been sleeping. I was just going to say, we ain't going to hold the hostage. Kev, 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 burn one. Let's keep going. Let's burn one a cigarette. That must be the code for them to come in. Burn one. It ain't like this. Burn one. What is the signal? This nigga like, abracadabra, my nigga. What is the signal? Abracadabra. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why you look crazy. What are y'all, how you get into a weed smoke? How y'all are you trying to smoke? What's your social? What's your social? You got to smoke, What are y'all saying? Hey, man, there we go. We, you, 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 you want to find out for real? No, sure please. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. I was like, <laughs> we can be free. We can be our. And they said, oh, please. Kev, your beard will lay so nice as you smoke some weed. Man, tell listen, you, what, yo, you, you close. You getting I'm proud of your beard. Stand, Pandemic stand process. Yeah. That trampoline would be a lot more you, fun you know if saying? you was high. That trampoline. <laughs> 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 hey, and you know what? That was pretty fucking cool when you all were talking about Will Smith earlier. That yeah. was fucking, that's amazing, man. Bro, that was like, mm -hmm. that's when I realized, bro, like, I never would have thought I would have worked with Will in any capacity, in any <laughs> association. You call him his first name. Yeah, we yeah, well, you know. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. the crazy thing, I, I talk about this on my podcast. I actually worked on a show with Will before that. No mm. shit. Like on yeah. Zoom meeting. Yeah, he had a, and I couldn't talk about it at first because it was mm. NDA. But then they put a IMDb credit on it. So I was like, well, shoot, we, we saying it now. It, yeah. Right. But yeah, I was writing for, he had a Snapchat show and I was in there, you know, with other comedians. I don't know if anybody else said nothing, but. I got to produce him, pitching him jokes, and him be like, oh, that's hot. And I was like, this is crazy. crazy. Nice this is, bro, he nice. said that's hot to mine. I was like, bro, y'all can keep the bread, but yeah. I'm going to send it. <laughs> <laughs> in theory, in theory, y'all yeah, can keep it because Will it's worth the money. But also, yeah. I did the work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what actually happened about that is they were trying to do it again. And I was like, because at the beginning of the pandemic, they were like, they would hit you at 11. We got to have you in the room by 8, 8 to 10 tomorrow morning. I was like, man, I'm not doing nothing. Because it was at the beginning of the pandemic. He was home, and yeah. it was a chance to work with Will. And he's on the Zooms, like, listening. But the second time, we was doing Keep Your Distance. It, the pandemic wasn't strong. And I was like, bro, I just, I would love to do it. But, like, y'all be, you, you know, you under contract. Basically, you do, whenever I say y'all come, mm, come. Pull up. And I was like, bro, I got podcasts and stuff. Like, I got other things I can't. I can't do it. And mm. I was like, dang. Because sometimes you're going to have to decide if you're going to do your stuff or you're going right. to do their stuff. Come mm. on, man. So you could have been Will Smith's Josh. Is what you're telling me. If Josh was writing jokes, basically. Mm. But yeah. Mm. But I mean, that's that sounds like a tar no, terrible uh, future, though. No. <laughs> but that's the thing. People, <laughs> people make their bread like that. 
But I was like, nah, man, I can't do it. So then, like, three weeks later, they hit me like, yo, we gotta, we want to talk to you again. I was like, man, I, I said I, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Don't make it hard for me because it was a tough decision. Right. Mm-hmm. It was like, nah, we want to do a show. We partnered with Facebook. And I was like, well, now you're speaking my language. Hey. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, like, for the most part, I got that show because I be like a corny dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be a thug. You know, I'm from, you know, yeah. Stone mm-hmm. Mountain. You yourself. El Paso. Yeah. El Paso. You know, but you I used to be in the You here. still talk to Will? I never talked to him. Uh. <laughs> That was just his company. <laughs> that one picture that I used to post all last year was the interaction. I never <laughs> talked. I, I never talked to him. Outside of the, outside of the, oh, actually, I, was about I did. Say, man, I just tell that so man to not block me, bro. Yeah. yeah, but no. After that, Will contract Smith ended. I, th- I thought he told you your joke was hot. That was you no, no. I forgot. Up. I'm so used to the okay. NDA. I just put oh, that okay. memory in the right. back right. and was because I, bro, I was like, shut I'm it not, down, bro. They was not playing about that NDA. Hell no. Oh, you work with me? Right. No, you didn't. <laughs> we're like what? I, I did. Like, we'll. So now, but yeah, after after that show was over, that was that yeah. was it. But then they hit me for that thing, and I was looking on set, and he was like, "Nah, bro, you know I ain't coming over here. We in Van Nuys." So. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> Van, uh, hilarious. Spread the fuck out, bruh. We've been Atlanta in Atlanta too. for this is our third day. Yeah. We didn't shot twelve restaurants. We have Speaking never of, talk went. about it, man. Can you talk about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead. I Let's crank it up. This joke. Yes. Oh, uh, we had never. <laughs> you had cut one of mine off earlier. Yeah, no, I, so I felt like it was personal. <laughs> I felt like it was personal. Definitely. You cut off I don't play none of that. You cut off the cut off. <laughs> this nigga Teddy. Uh, I had a good joke about Will Smith. I'll say but no, nah, the Atlanta nah, thing, nah, man, we, we staying right over here. We ain't been more than 15 minutes. Now, nah, Atlanta, you get around quick if Period. you can. But uh, if so you we, can. we're shooting this show uh, for the app, Kevin State Studios app. And it was like, basically, diners, drivers, and dives. Mm-hmm. But that show's always from the chef's point of view. Mm-hmm. But comics, we go to different cities. We don't know what to eat. You eat either what somebody else tells you is good or what's near mm-hmm. the club or the hotel. Or so the shows, club. Or at the club. Yeah. But you know that menu basically you know, burgers and Please. fries yeah, it's and a rat in there. Just, just filth, man. You don't want to eat that anymore. Nah, it's a rat in there. Right. <laughs> it is a rat in there. That's all I think yeah. every time you walk out a rat in the kitchen. So I was like, yo, what if we did a show that's like what's good in ATL? Like we pull up we got a show this weekend. We're gonna be there for three days. We gotta figure out what to eat, you know, so we'll hit either comics or people in the city, you tell us what's good. And during the day, you know, you'd be walking around, seeing what's popping. Mm-hmm. And it's basically a show like Diners, Drivers, and Dives, but instead of from a chef's point of view, it's just regular people who are comedians. So who did y'all hit in Atlanta to, to <laughs> find out what the food was? We, uh, wait, who? Do we ask yeah, them good? We just ask the people on the audience. You say you ask the comic. You, no, no, just nah. in theory, you would ask. Got comic. it, got it, got it. Atlanta's okay. a big enough city where everybody can tell right. you. But like, trying to say y'all didn't call him. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. They went over there. That's why y'all got booted. Y'all didn't check oh, in. Oh, man, y'all didn't check in. Y'all didn't check in. Yeah, we sent that nigga. We told that nigga to We sent that nigga y'all didn't check in. Right. Y'all supposed to call us. Absolutely check in. We told you the dates we was going to be here. Absolutely check in. But it was very important. Time out. You said. You said we was go- y'all was gonna do something on Tuesday. Y'all got here another day, so yeah. Oh, y'all we got slid- to the whole itinerary. No, no, no. Y'all slid in. Just let us know when y'all pulled up. We want to make sure you say. You know, yeah, oh, okay. we, yeah. we could have brought y'all a little pistol. We, pist- <laughs> we could have got all y'all pistols in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'll be here on the twenty. Nah, yeah, you 26th, 23rd December. We got y'all shit there now. Yeah, we it's got you on your car right now. It's booting your car right now. It better not be out there. The double boot was something. I was like, yeah, because niggas will take their tire off out here and get out of here. They got an extra in the back. That nigga asked us. He's like, where y'all gonna be at later? <laughs> come back and get you again. Really I didn't say that. that. He, said, really he come to get this 75. That that mama's that nigga said that. He come to get this 75. Right. You used to work at a jail? To- I was a teacher at a jail for two years. What did you teach? Life skills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a criminal. What in the I got world? life, you, nigga. Hey, but look, you dress like <laughs> what I need skills. You skill. dress like you do life skills at a jail. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what was the lesson, lesson plan? Now, life hilarious. skills was it was so I was a, I was a per, I was a I want to say professional, but I was a permanent <laughs> sub basically, right? Okay. And so I did life skills, but I also did science. I did Wait. art. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 right. it. just let it go, Josh. Right, 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 right. right. No, you didn't let my no. go get on him. Oh, Josh. fuck Josh, man. Let's talk about it. Yo, put the camera on this nigga, man. <laughs> hey, Josh be coming for my neck all day. Yo, fuck Josh, man. <laughs> and then fuck Tony Baker. Oh, and fuck man. Bad Boy as a label record company <laughs> staff. <laughs> 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 These niggas been on my neck all day. Oh, when I tell you, I'm. Yeah. If I mess up just a little bit, if I say, uh uh, then niggas be like, they look at each other in the car. There's three niggas looking at each other like, I'm gonna tell you what happened this morning. 
<laughs> Y'all niggas in the ninth grade, words. boy. This is ninth grade. Every 30 minutes. <laughs> 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 I like hot beverages, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this go with the outfit so good. <laughs> Every time. He got in the truck, spilled the coffee all over himself. Oh. It wasn't even that dramatic, my nigga. The, the, the lid lift. Me and the lid lift. <laughs> coffee all down the path. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. He was so, he was like, he was all down the path. It was not about my wrist. Josh like, here you go again, man. <laughs> so here got you know, the drop. You know the movie seats. with the scientists, he know about the asteroid coming, but he spilled all his papers. Like, hey, you ain't got your papers in your briefcase. That was years. Yo. And he was so mad because half the coffee was gone. Uh, it was not that bad. It oh, wasn't that bad. Man. Niggas just be lying to be lying. Man. I don't so, know what so they did this your, your favorite restaurants, each one of y'all favorite so we, restaurants ooh. y'all went to? During we this went, trip? For this trip, trip, yes. Okay, so let me finish the show. I'm sorry. So, uh, just because we recorded for Josh, so yeah. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> this nigga the, doubles the up is, on the check. Yeah, right. I don't doubt. So, actually, I'm going to just answer a question because it's better. Do you think? Somebody hit to here, random fan, was like, yo, I heard y'all coming to ATL. We got a restaurant. We want y'all to pull up. It was called. M&M? M&M's, M&M's comfort M&M's. food. Yep. Mm-hmm. Bro, it was a commercial kitchen that's mainly for uh, Uber Eats and Postmates and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. They don't really have like an indoor dining. Right. Bro, they, they cooked a whole bunch of vegan food, and they ain't even a vegan restaurant. And like, their main seller was a chicken chicken sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. So he was like, yo, we Fine. got Tony. Y'all got any vegan options? They was like, here's our whole vegan menu. Mm-hmm. Bro, vegan salmon croquettes. Fire. Uh, Nick. Salmon, <laughs> salmon, uh, I mean, a uh, uh, vegan oh, po' boy. Nick. Mm. Bro, Fire. sausage sandwich. Fight. Bread pudding. The bread, hold on. Don't you skip past the bread, bread pudding. Hold on. I said bread pudding. pudding. I said it. I've never <laughs> had it like this. No, yeah, you can't glaze pudding. over it. I need you to be the fucking that slow. Stop. Speed bump. <laughs> bread bread light. Oh. All of that. Your change. Tom was bread time. drunk, man. That bread pudding was right. Boy, you look like an umpire over here, boy. You <laughs> <laughs> look like you finna goddamn kick dirt on this nigga. <laughs> and that nigga look like Mr. Rowan. The bread pudding. The <laughs> kick dirt on him. And that bread pudding was so goddamn good, folks. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that shit was so good, folks. Hey, hey, yeah, I ain't never had that shit that tastes like that. Mm. I've had mm. tons of bread pudding, mm. and they had Brussels sprouts, they bro. Oh. Kale. The kale, kale the collard like kale. Man, yeah. it was yeah. So it was like, bro, the same thing we doing for Keep Your Distance. We trying to do that. So the other thing about Diners, Drivers, and Dives is they never do. They don't really showcase black restaurants that much. Talk about it. It's like 200 episodes. I th- maybe three, four, yeah, you know, five, spice. four, six chefs, you know what I'm saying, that mm-hmm. are black. Mm-hmm. Our show is black first. What's mm-hmm. the black restaurant in Atlanta? That's one that's easy. Mm-hmm. Salt Lake <laughs> City, them. where's the black restaurant? Mm-hmm. Got two. Tulsa, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like. It's gonna be black first. Go to Memphis. Y'all yeah. gonna end up yeah. in somebody's yeah. kitchen for sure. And then we also, right. yeah, we yeah. went to. Um, Gotta go to Houston. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, Turkey yeah. Hunt and Breakfast Whoop. Club. But we went to the Village HQ or the Village Retail Store in, in Ponce Market. Ponce Bro, City, Dr. Yeah. Key set up like a, a, a black business where she curates thirty black businesses. They got shirts and yeah. jewelry and watches and stuff. We the pulled up there. Everything. Bro, what? we went crazy in there today. I yeah. never even heard of it. Me but Tabitha so Brown dope. hit us up like, "Yo, you in Atlanta?" You know what I'm saying? Go with my girl. Think she got something dope, and that's how we. That's how black people. We yeah. Yeah, you over in the city. Go check in with bro. It's a network, it baby. No Underground sense. Railroad. That's it what makes it was. No network is not to help yeah. each other out right now. No right. sense. Right. Because it, it, we can only all benefit from it. Right. Like right. one of the great things about social media and technology is like I knew I wanted to be an actor, or entertainer, comedian when I was a kid. I knew it early on. I just figured I would. I don't have to be on a a, 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 a sitcom or a movie to get where I wanted to be. Never would I have thought that I would have went on tour for making videos for a YouTube channel mm. and then make a living off of a night show that I created off of boredom and a game show I created because I fuck up words, <laughs> but be able to feed my family with mm. it. Yeah. And I remember to hear was acting. acting. Yeah. To hear was acting, he was going out for auditions. I remember he hit me, he was like, yo, Kev, man, these little guest spots on like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, bro, they ain't even really worth the audition. Mm. Cause I know for sure lot. I'm making bread tonight on this, I'm selling merch. Like, why well, I gotta go out here and, and slave over mm-hmm. these? Not slave. And the but, money come in quick. It come in right then. And when no sag dudes. You gotta wait. Yeah. And them. they they kind of shame you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man. I stopped. I stopped. You know, Remo, right? My, with my, the gospel in My yeah. agent is so mad. <laughs> right now. I, got, I, I only did three of the eight auditions he sent me this week. Mm-hmm. Everything else I declined. Man, your agent on Yo, too, I remember seeing we, we was in New five. Jersey. Remember oh, this? Yeah. I don't got to no hear. Agent. We had a show. <laughs> Tahir flew all the way back. Oh. For the, all, all the way it's back. The back. It's the callback. like, nigga, just come on. What's your you worst it. audition? Like, have you ever bombed an audition? Oh, I bombed several. I've definitely have bombed an audition. One, the the most upsetting <laughs> was <laughs> Coming to America 2. 
because I did 48 hours, like in total, with the, with the acting coach, and then I did another like 10 hours with friends that was actors. Mm. I God put in damn near a week of work for this audition, Crip. and I'm prepping. I'm ready. I, I had done this shit forward and back. What happened? I get to the fucking studio, and it was like, yeah, the audition is canceled. Nope, no man, your agent should have called you, right? <sighs> then they was like, yeah, Ooh. they canceled it for rewrites, right? Oh. Two days later, the cast of Coming to America 2 has been picked. Oh, they damn. are here. So they had already picked. You no, no, he just went to that I was just saying, like, yeah. that's my worst <laughs> audition story. story. <laughs> Let me right. tell you what. Where'd you bomb? That at all. Where'd you bomb? Said, Forget you about that, Rob. Right? Right? <laughs> this is the worst story you want. There you go. Yeah, I bombed the American Gangsta audition. It was the worst <laughs> shit ever. Oh, I, I had to send a self tape in. I put on one of them Steve Harvey jackets. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like you, you Uncle Frank. So you do still would, have them, nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. This is this is like You're this is like 2003 or so. whatever American Gangster was out there. I had to fucking audition. And I was there like, I want to be like you, Uncle Frank. I don't know what role it was, but I know I was like, and I put the, when I got the tape and put it in the FedEx, I was like, I don't know First I'm getting all, this shit. Right that here, was a, wait, that was a long time ago. You put a tape in FedEx? It was a little flip cam shit. So you know them little flip cams? And little US That's why you didn't get it. Them niggas had nothing to play that up. Nigga, I, <laughs> nigga, I did like that bitch in the mirror. Laser disc. Do we have a laser disc? Yeah, yeah. Anybody got laser disc? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. In the mirror like this? It was horrible. It was horrible. Yo. I will pay that. Listen, I will pay that. No, I will pay Bad. top dollar Bad. to see you holding the <laughs> well, my, wife said, my wife said. My wife said. Yeah, it was clean. She said. She said you did. It? I'm like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> That's yeah, just how it be when you yeah, want to. Uh, yeah, I did it for the Russell Crowe role. I was like, we're gonna take you down. <laughs> it was probably one of the extra niggas that was with Frank Lucas and stuff. You know, driving like you, Uncle Frank. Oh, I'm here to take you in. It wasn't much of a nigga. We occasionally glass up at himself, Frank. We, that was we like got this. Dead to right. It was me in front of the mirror holding the camera like this. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we never knew Frank right. was on the radar until gotta, he showed gotta, up with the mink coat on. Yo! Bro. <laughs> It was the I most awful shit. I've never seen somebody hold the camera on the office <laughs> in the mirror. It was one of them little flips. It was like this big. Like, your wife's, oh, no, I like. is, it, your wife is there. Get her to hold it. You did it? I did it. I did. I might have put it in a tripod did. and did that it in there, but I remember doing the lines like this. But that's a better story. Shit. That mean that him and the old lady got into it before he did the audition, right? But I had a suit jacket. She came like, you still need help with your little audition? He's like, nah, fuck you. I got it myself. <laughs> nigga, I had a suit jacket on and a regular t-shirt. This nigga got a suit jacket on in the bathroom. <laughs> in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, look. Just the top, though. You got the full suit on. I got yeah, it. Just a jacket on. out in the bottom. Ah, shorts on, on nigga. I got an open shorts. <laughs> and some slides. It's a open shorts, though. Uh, and, and then telling everybody to be quiet. Will y'all shut up? I'm trying to film. I'm trying to get the future nigga, done. It's shut shut the fan up in the bathroom. You heard, <laughs> you heard the toilet reset? You know when the toilet reset? Cycle and recycle. I was in the bathroom. I was like, nigga. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't feel good about it at all. Frank Lucas. That toilet was like. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's such a specific uh, sound. That is such a specific sound. Uh, ooh. What? <laughs> oh man! It was the toilet always got to reset yeah. after the flush. This was like after yeah. that Earth Wind and Fire too. Walter Latham was hooking it up. He was oh trying to get me with Paradigm. They was like, "We gotta. Hey, can you do a self tape? Movie, man. Can you do a self tape? Like, nigga, I got a camcorder. Okay. Bro. Get you in that new Denzel movie he got coming out. Nigga, it was the flip out. It was, it was that kind of little. He looked that like flip KG out. at the golf stop. Yo. <laughs> he was like, it's a period. Look, I got to I gotta get my neck. I got to show my, I got a neck too. Let me put this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no tripod. I got no tripod, my nigga. I think oh, I did, but I don't know what happened, but I was doing yeah, this. I, I was like, fuck it, I'll just read man, it like your this. Your shit has oh, probably been passed man. around Hollywood. <laughs> Laugh, they laughing. Oh, nigga, you ain't gonna believe this. They're like, hey, yo, you, do come you look at this shit. Papers. You got something to play with them little flip tapes in? <laughs> I'm finna email this. I'm finna mail this. What <laughs> this if the... Denzel got that tape in his crib? He showed that with me. Man, watch this off. This is somebody sent me. That shit inspires him every time. This nigga trying to be this Russell Crowe. Ronnie Jordan, like, yeah. Nigga trying to be Russell Crowe. What if you meet him and he be like, <laughs> God, God nigga. Trying to be Russell Crowe. What if he auditioned for the T.I. role? I, I want to be like you, Uncle Frank. It might have been that role for real. That's funny. <laughs> That's how, it was so long ago. It looked at the, 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 the,
Look, man. Man. Oh, All right, man. That's enough. That is enough of this shit. Oh, man, we just getting started. It was the Idris Elba Where's role. the cocaine? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Now your church fans is like, now nah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, come on, now. Now, that's nah. what we do now. Shit. About, nah, that's where it's at. Oh, I'm talking I about Jesus. Was bad then. <laughs> 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 hey, you, you know how uh, you know how judgy all of us weed niggas will be like, oh, really? Is <laughs> <laughs> that what y'all doing out there? Right. Bro, Yo, I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. At <laughs> all death, they was on. Oh, oh, let's talk. Not about oh, Hollywood is on coke. A lot of Hollywood Bruh, is on coke. I, now, nobody with me. Mm-hmm. Right. But there were some people in there, you know, parties, Bumpy Johnson, things like that. It ain't really a, black people don't be doing drugs. Who was serving the coke to everybody? This one of the money. I you. think it was Patrick St. Cloud. No, no, Patrick. Hilarious. Patrick <laughs> weed all I'm day just kidding. Long. Weed in the pit bull. Big great opportunity. Weed, weed in the pit bull. bull. They weed was in the f- bathroom taking bumps, coming back to the meetings like, mm. ooh, I'm like, yo, what is your boy on? Like. He on cocaine, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 bro, it's two o'clock. Who is doing cocaine? I don't think cocaine has a time. No. I don't think you know like the cocaine be like, hey, come do me. Yeah. <laughs> For real? Like, come on. <laughs> go, let's go in the bathroom. Like, coke don't be like, wait till four. Bro, that you got a meeting. Yeah, come on in the bathroom. coffee to here. You know what I'm saying? Green tea, whatever. They was like, I need a bump. They be hitting that coffee, but the cocaine be like, you got to understand addiction, man. That shit is rough. That thing look like some energy. Look like you get shit down on coke. Dude. That's the appeal. Yes. That's the appeal. Like, woo! Let's get to it. <laughs> That's what you want. My dad was too cheap to do coke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean for the beans, I like, My dad. Next, next. Josh, what you got for me? <laughs> oh, really? uh, I didn't even know how to get weed in my life. Cocaine mm. is like, bro, that's the drug on knock. So have you ever done weed? Have you ever done anything bad like drinking Man, weed? Man, I had Hennessy one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you grenade. sound scared to say it. I had a hand grenade. A hand grenade. I had a hand that's hand grenade. a big well, step. Hand grenade was weak. It was trash. Oh, okay. The marketing was good for the hand grenade. Oh yeah, they fucked it. It was a hand grenade. I tried. I tried. I tried to get. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I thought you had it. I tried to get kept fucked up. No, no, no. The hand grenade was weak. It was like a real hand grenade. <laughs> what is it? Hand is a drink in New Orleans. It's a tourist drink. Yeah, it's all you got like 12 oh, liquors they in that They pumped it up, though. Oh, oh you ain't never had a hand grenade? Oh, get ready oh, to die. Yeah. Oh, you gotta die. You got to get the hand grenade, man. That, grenade shit, is a, man, that shit is a, man, that shit is a, that shit is a hypnotic in a oh, big ass glass. Bro, it's it's big. Water it, ain't even, it ain't even a hypnotic, because a hypnotic can get you fucked up. Well, I'm not. Hey, no, I'm thinking about Incredible Hulk. You're right. It I'm is. That's him. That's him. I yeah, want to get wrong, people who. I want to get church people who nah, don't smoke high. That would be a great show. Like Kev is the, the blueprint. Kev nah, man. Kev will be discommunicated. He'd be excommunicated. Church people at a haunted house is hilarious, nigga. Church people on a yeah. haunted house. That ain't what you said. We don't do that, man. That's the no, Jesus. I said church people <laughs> smoke weed, weed for the first time. Oh. Now that it's on Zoom, a lot of weeds. Yeah, that, I think bro. I think it should be embraced more. That's the only way I hear God when, when I get high. Gospel sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. You ever heard Kim Burrell high? <laughs> tears, real <laughs> tears, <laughs> real tears. <laughs> Byron Cage, Kim Burrell. If I never, and when oh that nigga Jay Moss get out the crowd and be like, if I come home and my wife never <laughs> appreciate what I, I be the guy like this nigga here. <laughs> 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 you really said the Jay Moss. <laughs> Jay Moss that part. That's not like you gotta know God for the gospel. Pull cool, Kim Burrell and Jay Moss. That, that cover when he's like got his legs. Yeah, oh. Jay Moss. But, the, but, but what, what I'm talking about, you ever seen the? Byron Cage, Kimber Rail, if I never. But Jay Moss is in the crowd. They're shooting it live at the Apollo. It's the video and it, it's the audio on the album. And they was like, I'm on, I'm gonna ask Jay Moss to come in. Jay Moss in the crowd like this. <laughs> and then that nigga come on and say, What do you want me to do? I'm like, nigga, you was at rehearsal. You, knew you, were <laughs> you, yeah, you got a mic pack. With the forces on. Oh, so he had the so forces on. Oh, he man. went hard on that album. Jay Moss. He got both, he got he both feet up. Background. Yeah. He got both feet up. Yeah. He's we a wild boy. <laughs> you hit him with the straight hand? He didn't know what to do with his hand. Oh, I with think he didn't know what on? to do with his hand. I'm convinced son. that gospel preachers and pastors that sing are keeping the Beijing industry going. Oh, man. Them, them and Ray Lewis. They promoted it if, if the very minimum. Ray Lewis, D-Lay. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Lewis got sneaker, sneaker polish. They got to watch it. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and yeah, turn yeah. it off. <laughs> He tried to close it out. We should have let Tyler close we it out. Let, he did. Hey, man, we did not condone. I know how to close it out. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't going to let me get it done. I, I got to wake up at 4 in the morning. I yeah, will get Tyler this got done. Ready to oh, you got to go. tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every day. day. Monday through Friday. Awesome. You work it's every radio. day. radio. Yeah, it's the morning radio. 
I'm on look, there. Look every at these morning. privileged creators. You work every day. <laughs> yeah. You can't leave for nothing. Yeah. No, you should have been closing out, Tyler. No, no, it's all good, bro. I'm, I'm, not, I'm fine, guys. <laughs> what about when you're on the road? <laughs> uh, take a, I take a little machine with me, and I still got to wake up early, though. You be doing it from remote? Hotel. Yeah, every... man. Like how y'all was flying around nah, and doing was, shit and talking. Ain't nobody, bro. Every That's morning. a People don't understand that struggle. Yeah. Time zone switch? Oh yeah, well I'll be doing. No, wild. Now, if in LA, it's only. I'll be doing wild night. I'll be up there. I'll be waking up at two in the morning to do the show and then going. Oh my god, wild. that's gonna be crazy. That's what people yeah. say when that's we was talking about the wild. tour. That's how people look. But when it's what you want to do, bro, you, you yeah. find yeah. a way to make it. I used yeah. to have to buy the, and I don't want to keep it going long because I, I keep really going. Want, but I remember I had to buy the internet on the flight mm -hmm. when, when I didn't have the bread. That first tour. Bro, I had to buy the internet. Ooh, that twenty nine ninety nine. Just to be, uh, bro, hit you. Just to be able to be having the email and Slack, because they were yeah. like, you can work remote, but if there's stuff that needs answers, we gonna need be it. There. So I'm exhausted, but like, yeah, the Shh. videos in this. Right, with the worst in internet. Bro, that, that plain internet is trash. Man, like, man, shut up. We in Phoenix. That shit is no like internet. text message. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They might want to say you can text, bro. That's well, now it. that's free. At the yeah. time, it wasn't. Yeah. Bro, that's it's better now. It's way better Definitely now. Be coming through with the yeah. text. Yeah. I hate it when they used to make you get that app to watch the movies, but you forget man, it by the time you pull out. Like, what the yeah, fuck? Man. <laughs> I took this shit off. Yeah. I took this shit off. <laughs> fucking right, man. Uh, is that but that yeah, time? Is it, time? It's got to be yeah, that, that time. Morning, yeah, man. So we like to end. The <laughs> <laughs> we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. We're giving people some words of wisdom. You a smooth yeah. ass. That's nigga. a great voice, <laughs> man. I love that. He's smooth that, as hell. I want to see your set. His mic is different. We yeah. Like yeah, it was a smooth jazzy version. Smooth, smooth jazzy, jazzy version. version. This jazzy 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 for Kim. That's why it's going. It is, nigga. Love calls, love <laughs> calls, your name. I'm telling you, man. Voice over king. If y'all need him, if y'all need him, we need to get him his cartoon. Over. We got to get him his animated series. What's up? <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead. Mama. All right. Yeah, I'm going to continue. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be at work at four. You got to wake up at four. Kevin. Shut up. No, man. <laughs> you know, I understand. I'm going to bed. Let him finish. You, so, you got to leave with that. As soon as he finishes, the show is over. All right, here we go. Yeah, All right, let's go. Five, right. four, six. <laughs> Boy, you ain't shit. Great callback. It was worth it. Great callback, oh, sir. Yeah, Great callback. Yeah, call excellent yeah. callback. Right yeah, excellent callback. Yeah, it was worth it. All that was worth that. Right <laughs> wow. wow. You all that to get there, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? He's doing <laughs> so, You got to you got to cook you Tony over there looking at him like, comedy will be fine. Damn. But back to the quiet storm. Yeah. I knew you was going to say something. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. So we like to end the shows with a segment called Secret Genius Life Coach. Yeah. Where I give the people some words of wisdom. Talk about get through the week, get to the next episode. I am Kamal the Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. The copying machine does not care about the originals. Mm. It's going to stack and collate and staple those copies to perfection. But those originals might get spit out on the floor. Mm -hmm. The edges might get bent. Mm -hmm. They're going to get turned all in different directions. So before you enter that machine that is the industry, realize that that machine don't give a fuck about you as the original. It will spit you out on the floor. Don't you do that. As long as it can replicate and duplicate and distribute the copies that it makes of you. That's all I got. That was yeah. really all a profound message. Y'all over here joking shit. 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 Y'all don't watch the show, I see. I never watched it. I ain't got to the end. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now I got to go back. I got to go back. At the end of it. Nigga, let me take a look. Let me take a look. I don't watch my shows. Me I haven't watched one full episode of Word is Hard since the I second The pandemic got me tired of my voice. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't, I don't listen. Too to much. My wife would be like, you want to do the, the notes for the podcast? I'm like, I don't want to see it. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you knew to this. You but do the no. notes. But send it to the I, I want to go back to that real quick. Not only will it throw you on the floor, it'll, it'll jack up the original. Absolutely. Them paper jams is the original usually. Mm -hmm. Coming in and getting jacked up, and now what? Now what? It's the, the original. No, you ain't need no original more. You can use the copy and put that as the original. Even the Cast aside. Mm -hmm. Black people addicted to cigarettes. What do white people addicted to? Our culture. 
Mm. Oh, for hire dot com. Yeah. Not for square. Dog, more dog, than coach. Yeah, the cat box. <laughs> <laughs> on that Five, note. four, six. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> What was that? Face ass. What in the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Profoundness. Is Are you tired? I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. This nigga is so tired. <laughs> I am delirious. I'm five hours away from 24 hours up. Let me oh, tell you something. I don't know what's happening. Where are all I'm glad you are. Oh, yeah. We in, we in the same boat, man. I'm five hours away. Come on, we're we going to make it. Picture right there. That's all of us. That's no, and the third, the, the third on the left, the, the bottom left. Oh, that was when he didn't. I go through here. That's an old picture. I go through here. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, who the His hair grow fast crazy? as hell. Because okay. everybody else, I reckon, I'm like, yo, who's Chadwick? Yeah, that is Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick. <laughs> that is Chadwick. Chadwick. That is, that is, that's 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 100% Chadwick Boseman. That's a uh, Clayton. Oh, Pinky, what's his name? The doctor? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. That's Daniel. That's Daniel. That's a nigga. Charlie and Ronnie look legit. Though. Yeah, yeah. that's a nigga from Four Life. I look like oh, a no football platinum see. shirt, nigga. That look like. <laughs> I ain't want to say it, but that's the boom, first thing I saw. Boom, it look like. Fat hey, album hey, on his hey. hey. <laughs> Nah, you look like uh, Thurgood's son. Uh, <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> I'm so about to say so I'm not his son. That show doesn't get enough credit. Man, PJ. PJ was good. PJ was fucking amazing, bro. Shout out to PJs. It was yeah, claymation. Yeah, it was, oh, and it was claymation. 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 Oh. Hard, bro. Back then. He said, Juicy, where's your sign? Okay. He had a song, Don't Feed Me. <laughs> that motherfucker come out there. Can of corn, cream corn. Is that streaming on anything? <laughs> I ain't seen oh, I ain't TV Jesus. I ain't seen. I, we still haven't seen the whole John yeah, Wilson crew. They just released a the trailer that didn't show up. us nothing else. The PJs was coming on like heavily it for was. a while or something. I can't That's remember. That's Charlie Murphy. But yo, let's get this picture, man, for y'all. More than culture here, is the man. brand. This is the More Than Culture show. Come on, the Secret Genius, Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Special guests yes. to yeah. hear more. Mm -hmm. Come on stage, Tony Baker. Yeah. We out. We out. You know this yeah. bitch <laughs> getting chopped up in three parts. <laughs>